Say hello to the bad guy, man. Thank you. Thank all you motherfuckers. I love y'all. Yo, man, shout out to everybody who came to the live event. I got another live event in Philly. Make sure you go buy your ticket to TaxSeasonLive.com. That's TaxSeasonLive.com. And make sure anybody that want their Tax Season cups, they be safe those shirts, they Tax Season podcast for the culture shirts, make sure you go to ShopTaxStone.com. I couldn't even remember. But that's where you need to go. ShopTaxStone.com and go to TaxSeasonLive.com to make sure you get your tickets for the Philadelphia show. And that's the International House of Philadelphia, 3701 Chestnut Street. Tax Season Live. Be safe, though. Well, it's been up here, Tax. Yep. What happened, man? I don't know. I yeah. thought y'all was ducking me, man. Yeah, I'm like, yo, them it. Philly niggas is fucking ducking me. <laughs> no, I was tight. Yo, say hello to the bad guy tax season, man. We in here right now with AR Ad. King Ad, the king of Philly. King of Philly. You heard what the fuck he said. He said it. I, I didn't said say it, it nigga. Yeah, I said it. Next thing I know, I'm going to be on something. Niggas are like, tax said AR Ab, the king of Philly. Because, yeah, you know, every time uh, after you, after you have uh, a podcast. One of the Muslim niggas with bands coming yeah. after me. <laughs> they always come after family. you. Every time Leave after you do a podcast, alone. they always they always come after you. They be rough, too. Yes, niggas be every real time. rough, right? Yeah, uh-huh. They be rough. So you got a gangsterous podcast. <laughs> yes. I ain't even wanted to be that. I just wanted to just speak. I just wanted to speak to the people. Yo, we in here with Sophie Green right now. We in here with DJ Miss Milan. Yeah, DJ Miss Milan from Queens. We're shaking with yeah. you. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Living, you know. Mm-hmm. So. She DJ my live show. She nice. fucked shit up. The yeah. people liked that in there. I was like, let yeah. me bring her up here to the show so the people could um Ladies. so the people could get familiar with her and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all niggas DM together. her with caution. If you DM her, make sure you got a bag for her or a couple couple yes. cup couple couple bundles and a couple a couple with <laughs> seven now. So you know what I mean? We chase so seven bundles. You or, know what I'm saying? Or wire transfer. Or wire transfer. Or wire transfer is coming. But, 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 but keep it on the same case of Iris. Yeah, about ninety eight, about ninety eight. Ninety eight. <laughs> 98. <laughs> Sophie gets many PayPals from guys from Dubai, the Middle East. Oh, no, shit. The Middle East. I really? Yeah. Okay, keep having <laughs> Katina will say, I'll speak Arabic for you. <laughs> oh, damn. Man. Oh. You try to bag AR ad? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Does AR ad, does that stand for language, Arabic? Man. She's speaking our language, bro. What's I AR ad short for? That's AR ad, is it? No, I made that shit up in jail. Yeah. Really? Wow. Okay. That's I was in prison. I'm at the I'm at the hot water fountain ready to cook my chi chi. <laughs> For those who don't know what the chi chi is, yeah. yeah, please tell us. The the oodles and noodles with uh-huh. the cheese curls and shit. It's a jail yeah. meal. Yeah. Chop some meat, some tuna Beef in there. Sticks in there, tuna. Yeah. So I'm at the hot water fountain making my chi chi. I'm just talking shit to some nigga like, yeah, man. Nigga, I'm fucking AR app, nigga. Play with the AR out there. I'm just talking shit. I said, damn, this shit, I like it. <laughs> I just kept it. Just kept That's it. when I was down. And, you know, I was down for a murder at that time. So, oh. motherfucker was just like, yeah. Okay. Here I am. Okay. okay. <laughs> motherfucker just seen me in the newspaper. So, whatever I was saying, it was like. <laughs> right. It, motherfuckers believing. So, I'm just talking like, yeah, nigga. I, AR, nigga. Call me AR ad about that. Nigga, just AR and all that shit. Hey, I just start running with that shit. Why are you such a good rapper, man? Right. You one of the best rappers out there to me, my nigga. Like, I told Seriously, niggas, I heard really six bars. Like, yes, my nigga. Because I like that. a certain type of rap. Passion. I like emotion yeah, and rap. Right. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I, so it's, I gravitate to, towards rappers that, like, rap with emotion. You know what I mean? I appreciate that, so, I really appreciate that, man. Yo, you said SK in one of your raps. And, like, that shit, like, rung off in my, I know, I in my, my ear my for, voice. like, so long. I got a voice where I know how to use it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, my voice is my instrument. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not using my voice to make certain words to sound crazy. Yeah. Like if somebody else rapping, they want you to sound hot. If you Why did you it. rob your connect so much, man? <laughs> um, Ran off on you know it. what? I robbed somebody from out here, matter of fact. He was one of my connect. Oh, man. You know, he come down 3 in the morning. I'm telling you, no, don't come down that late. He came down 3 in the morning. And it was like, it's 20. I'm, I'm in Badlands. Badlands is a section of Philly with Dark Little from. Mm-hmm. So it was like 20 niggas sitting in front of my crib and shit. You know what I mean? He coming down. He, Big bag of shit. I'm like, listen, stop coming down this late. First catch it, they brought him down with him and shit. Mm-hmm. Cat like, yo, this is my man, and introduced me to him. I'm like, all right, we started doing a little business, but he keep coming down late. And I, I, I was scared. I'm thinking he a cop or what mm-hmm. was, you know, for me, what's up? So right. I said, you know what? I'm just going to rob him. Fuck it. Because yeah. like, he keep talking about, listen, we, you know, we were just fucking with the tree. It's, mm-hmm. Listen, this is, first of all, this is a long time ago before I start rapping. I'm a rapper now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, we just fucking with the weed and shit. Let's make it clear. We right? started talking about some other shit, like the mm-hmm. Dwight. I'm like, man, I don't, I'm cool. I don't right. mind like that. Yeah. He keep on the phone. Yeah, make him bring some, you know what I mean? Bring some whole ones. I'm like, no, I don't want, I'm cool. 
So I'm like, man, you know what, man? Bring that shit, man. <laughs> you might be trying to set me up with yep. some cop shit. <laughs> that shit sound like some shit. Ch- I'm a fuck, man. I'm a I hate when a nigga push a robbery on himself. Yeah. Like, nigga, I didn't want to do this. But you exactly. made me do it. You, you made me do you. it. Right. You know I mean? So we did. We did. We, did, we, we took me and low. We took that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, fucking like this nigga, man. It was on simple like, I didn't want to take it, but you keep. I'm like this nigga to my wedding. I ain't want to take it, but you keep trying to push this on me. I I, I don't know if you're the police or not. Stop trying to give me this shit. Stop talking records on my phone. Right. Why you want to keep, I'm going to bring you this, I'm going to bring you shit. He actually saying it. I'm going to bring you a brick. I'm going to bring you some bricks. I'm like, all right, fuck it, bring it, man. Yeah. After me saying no 10 times, all right, bring that shit. I'm going to take it, man. If you was a cop, you're going to book me for a robbery, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. You know. But yeah, you know, you gotta eat, man. Now, what made you start yeah. rapping? You did, you went to jail. You was in jail for a murder. Um, was you rapping in jail or before? I, I, I was doing law rap. I never took it serious. What made me start rapping was I ran to Cassidy. You know, at the time, I'm like, you see a motherfucker on TV, you thinking like, mm-hmm. you from the streets. I, I never been around no celebrities. Right. I see this nigga on TV. I'm thinking like, he like, you know, I'm like, oh, this is my shot. You know what I'm right. saying? It was like, right. um, and I knew him through a mutual friend at the time. I was heavy, like, in the streets, getting busy. I was already, I just came home from two attempted murders. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I beat two attempted murders, you know what I mean, in trial. And it's like, I came home, and he knew who I was. He knew what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Cause we got mutual friends. They like, yo, Ab crazy, Ab doing all this shit. So it's like, when he come down, it's, it's, at this time, he getting harassed by some niggas in his town. I didn't, you know, know what was going on back then. I just knew he a rapper. Right. I'm trying to get a fuck. He on TV. He said he going to make me a millionaire. He like, man, I never had no nigga like you around me, man. Just that a third and come around me. You and your niggas. I'm going to make you rich. I'm going to make you a millionaire. I'm like, this nigga on TV. I'm I'm thinking he got a million dollars. I'm like, this this nigga got a million dollars. He's going to make me rich and shit. So I started hanging around with him and fucking about two weeks later, I'm I'm fucking, I'm going to run for a homicide, man. Oh, shit. Mm. So it's like, fuck, man. And then, you know, I ran for a little bit for like a year. When they caught, they kicked kick my door and they caught up with me and shit. I'm in jail. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to take this shit serious. I'm like, Cass going to put me on when I come home and shit. So I'm, Cass was locked up. I seen him in jail. He like, yo, when you get out, I'm, I mean, the first time I seen him, only time I seen him in jail, the day he was going home. Mm-hmm. He said, when you get out, man, I'm a, I got you. I'm like, listen, I don't got no lawyer. Can you give me a lawyer? You know what I'm saying? Right, you got give me, two give me, lawyers. Give, give me, me a lawyer. Bitch, right? like, all right, all right. I said, all right, take my man number. So my man called him and called him and called him. You know what I mean? He wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? He yeah, yeah, yeah. a lawyer and shit. So, you know what I mean? And when we was in there, it was like 30 niggas in my cell. And, you know, I'm from the streets, so I know fucking 90% of these niggas in my cell. Mm-hmm. They like, say something to him. Ask him for a lawyer, man. Because I'm like, man, I ain't going to, I mean, I'm trying to yeah, move yeah, yeah. Right, right. They're like, man, fuck that. If you don't say nothing to him, I'm going to get Right, 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 right. right. Oh. Right. I'm like, oh. Right. I'm just pitching that whole scene. Exactly, like, right? So my man, right, my man, like, yo, man, he right, he right, snap. Like, yo, man, chill. So I'm like, yo, yo, man, listen, man, man, I need good lawyer and shit, man. I ain't got, you mean, shit kind of tight. And that's what you see where you, where your real friends at, man. My mom, my aunt, my grand, my mom, my aunt, my sister, and I think my grandma, they all put up. Money a piece to pay for my lawyer. Plan. The oh, women in my mm-hmm. family. Always, oh, always, always the women. Oh, it's, oh, it's the women. <laughs> just for me to get always. through. The, that's it's the, the women. That was just a preliminary it. hearing. Western women, right? I tell you that. And, and luckily, the lawyer I, I've been doing the lawyer. <laughs> he was a he a lawyer for a drug case. He never even fought a homicide. Right. So I was like, I'm like, fuck, I need somebody. So they did that for the preliminary and shit. Mm-hmm. And because I had two attempted murders too on top of that. So I beat you the have sentence. to stop shooting people. So I, right. no, that was, listen, that was allegedly that was years ago. <laughs> but yeah, I had two tender murders on top of that. So I beat them tender murders in preliminary, and a homicide with the trial. And I ain't got no lawyer. So my man called the man like, "Yo, Ab, man, he not answering the phone. He not picking up." And, and I'm thinking he may at this time, but you know, could have found out he ain't really had the money. But he could have said that. I ain't know. I'm thinking he just stiffing me. You know, what I mean? like me, like fuck me. You know what I'm saying? So right. you know, I I fucking my man. Paid, paid the money and I still owed the lawyer I had a good relationship with the lawyer so I still owed him when I came home when I came home I paid the, I screwed him off mm. I mean, that's when I started rapping though when I came home Cass like you know he if I got you I promise you I, this shit ain't going right right now I'm gonna make you a millionaire and I'm like fuck it I start, I had I had a baby my, my first child when I was in prison so I come home I see my child spend some time with my mom with him, and I went straight out there and was rocking out out here with him for like a year and a half so I didn't even get a chance to at this time, I didn't get a chance to purchase a car, crib, or nothing. What's up with Cassidy money, now, I, I man? What are you doing? I, I ain't talked to Cass. I talked to him one time since, like, 
that 2013. Wow. I talked to him one time. Word? Mm-hmm. Damn, yo, what's up with Cassidy, man? Yeah, really yo, Cassidy, come up to the show, man. I want to talk to you, man. I don't know, man. Some, t- some telling me that you out there selling nickels somewhere. Um, <laughs> no, he, had, he, he said the rap battle. I thought they paid him like a couple hundred grand for that rap battle oh, shit. Oh, oh, I mean, so rap he, battles. He should be all right. You oh. funny tech. <laughs> <laughs> How you nah, he be with this pussy nigga. I, I know. You got Brooklyn. theatrical this nigga, this nigga from Brooklyn. I mean, this nigga tried to tell me he was with Cassidy one day. I was uh-huh. like, but he said it like in a tone like there was like kind of like we had like an issue. He like, was yeah, like, he was like, nah, I'm with Cassidy right now. Like I come through. I was like, oh my god, you want rappers to die? Like, <laughs> like what what's up, wrong bro? with you? I didn't so understand. He said, so he said he with Cassidy. What? Like Cassidy gonna ride? Yeah, I didn't I, I, exactly. I didn't that's that. what I, I didn't matter who it was. It just was like <laughs> the tone. It, it, why him? Why yeah. you want him to die with I mean, you? Ain't no <laughs> that's whack. Tough guy, no. just, yeah. That's whack. We want to give back the hip hop. Yeah, in that in that kind of way, right? Yeah. Yo, shout out DJ Miss Millar, man. I want to sniff you. I told you that, right? Yeah, you did. You did. I did tell you. Can yeah. I sniff Millar, you at some huh? point tonight? Uh, tax, tax. Just, just sip your deuce. The, the neck, you know. the neck region. And my neck is clean too, because you know bitches don't be having clean. Yeah, you clean I, your I, neck. I yeah. taste sure, because you're from I Queens. Taste some salty neck in my life. <laughs> what that really? You're from oh, Queens. No. Our Queen chicks don't really be cleaning their <laughs> nah. neck. You hear me, love? Mean, who said um, that? I, you know, I went I around some summer salty just scratching neck in my life. You said scratching neck one summer. Nah, yeah. my neck is clean. My neck is clean. All right. All right. So, you ever had sex with anybody from G Unit? Oh, Hell shit. no. All right, just making sure. <laughs> you gotta check for things like that. You know what I mean? Just said, hell no. They you ever own slow way. bucks panties? No. Yo, shit. Yo, goddamn. Just make it. You, you gotta make sure. Tax you gotta, you gotta make sure. No slow bucks panties. You, you gotta yeah. make sure. Because you just never know. No punches, dude. No, none. Not at all. No. Nah, nah. But she's a lady, man. She's a lady. So if she did, she wouldn't talk about it. <laughs> I mean, she look like the lady. Like you know, what I'm saying you you don't you don't come you don't go at in that type of way. Like you really gotta. Yo, is Meek yeah. Mill popping out in on Philly right now? Shit like that. That's right. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. He um, <laughs> you know, he the biggest rapper that came that's out, that's out that came out of Philly. The only one in Philly with like a deal right now. So you know, mm-hmm. you know, he the pop the niggas so, like he got the most money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like. Yeah, that's the issue with people. You know, it's a money game right now. It's a whole game. It's a pimp game right now. Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it's a pimp and a whole game for the pimps and the hoes. Which yeah. is true. You understand what I'm saying? That's where niggas get shit misconstrued. Because some niggas scream out they got money which, like that make them real. I thought, I, money can't make them <laughs> real. Hell no, it don't but, make but nobody you know real. Hey, hey, Tex. You could be a cornball with this, money. This, this, this what it is, Tex. Mm-hmm. It's just me being around a lot of rappers like Cassidy Meek and other rappers. I see like, mm-hmm. it be a motherfucker, right? Like, I said, Cassidy or any one of them. You got a group of guys you with before you get on. You know what I'm saying? They regular guys. They niggas you grew up with. They probably, some of them probably in the street. Some of them probably ain't really, they all not really deep in it. How, you know, how most, yeah, yeah. how some of us they was, just right? from, they just from yeah, they the from street. The block. They from, they lived on the block. They was just a cool That's guy on the block, right? You just from the street. So listen, <laughs> and, and, and they, they get record deal, right? Once you get big and you, you, you from a city where ain't nothing else. Everybody gonna want to be around you. Exactly. So now you got the shooters coming around. Mm-hmm. You got the dope boys coming around. Everybody looking for a job. Everybody, exactly. Everybody want to hang around you. So exactly. on the outside looking in, you look Niggas, like man. That's why you can't get next to me. Niggas be mad like yo, tack, no, I'm tacked. I don't give a fuck what you are. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so niggas be like, about, I'm a shooter. So okay. niggas, so on, the, on the outside looking in is like, man, he got all these goons and crazy people around him. But you ain't even known them. They ain't even acknowledge you before you got. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's what hurts me about certain real. people Some in New York City. Acknowledge you I feel like you never would have had a picture with this nigga if you yeah. wasn't who you are. And you yeah. know that. So you should be embarrassed to do so. But niggas don't have spines. You, you understand? No. Me personally, I would be like, I'm not going to take no picture with this nigga because I know damn well that nigga would have never took a picture with me. Exactly. Well, you know, exactly. You know what I mean? Dudes Back are taking more day. pictures with guys than girls are now. It's, it's a, a lot of picture taking. It's, 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 it's real ugly right now. It's a lot of right pictures oh. with niggas. It's real ugly, it's, it's real ugly so in these streets. How y'all, feel, how y'all feel about these pictures with niggas, these niggas with well, pictures? I think it's gay. Yeah, oh, it, man. Yeah, it's not. Go ahead, honey. It's gay. Like, come on, be a man. Have a spine. You know, like you don't gotta bro everybody. You know, no, just be no. a be a man. You don't like that nigga. Put on like Instagram in the next five minutes. Right. Yeah, yeah, put a bro right. 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 And, right. and really and put a new witch. family member. Put a vicious <laughs> caption on the joint. Yo, me and my, my bro. bro. I told you my god him and exactly. He got me. He looked out for me. You know, we about to get lit. Big things popping coming soon. All summer sixteen. That before the sun. Dancing. The diamonds is dancing. He just fucked this man, baby mom. Yeah. Exactly. Before the sign. Exactly. He's not going to answer his phone when you leave, when he leaves. 
beef. Right. Exactly. Right. But for the gram, you know, it's exactly. all red. Yeah. All of that. So. Listen. Um, that's why I hate industry it. niggas. You know, industry niggas. Uh, somebody hit me the other day, and <laughs> you know, I had my live, you had my live event the other day, and she was asking about certain industry people that I know. She was like, "Yo, why wasn't such and such there? Such and such there? Such and such there?" I was like, "What?" I, don't I said, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. So she was like, nah, I'm just saying. I was like, yo, what is wrong with you? This is an industry. I said, I don't fuck with people that I work with. I just work with these niggas. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. I said, you're a retard. I said, you out here. <laughs> I said, I said, you out here trying to take these people home with you. I said, I fuck with the people. I yeah. fuck with the people. I am the exactly. people. I don't know who these people are. You understand? They just placed in my, in my circumference and we, we, we collaborate on things. Sure. It don't go no further than that. These niggas is weird. Hey, snakes. Super, and listen, super there's a price for their loyalty. They loyalty for sale, man. Exactly. I've seen this shit happen exactly. in Philly. Me too. When me and me had our little differences, <laughs> mm-hmm. I seen motherfuckers I was cool with. It was cool both of us. Just run on his joint like. Yeah, niggas need a I'm job. Like, man, Don't be mad at niggas, man. Just be like, yo, you just needed man, a job. It's friends. all right. Right. You could have been mutual on some shit like, mm-hmm. man, hey, y'all out of y'all, y'all drawn, y'all out of, y'all out of, y'all out of pocket, man. I'm, I mean, I ain't, you know what I mean? But niggas, true size mm-hmm. on the trip of like, not like directly, like, act when I see you was on it. They don't want that type of trouble. Yeah. Nah, but like, not with you. You'll see them not taking pictures with me and see them on pictures yeah. with them. Because like, they like, you they, don't wanna, they don't want to create the alliance. They exactly. like, nah, I don't want to. When wanna. I did the song, motherfuckers did not want to be like <laughs> in the studio right. on, on putting me on camera. Because I'm, you know, yeah. I'm doing the song. Because niggas want to take a picture to show they girl that they around somebody that's doing something. Exactly. So it's like, all right. That's I, what you're doing. I'd right? rather have alliances <laughs> with this dude than Ab because I'm gonna benefit more. Yeah, right. but Ab Ab ain't Ab ain't lit like him, and this yeah. might not reach, you yeah. know, yeah. wherever it might reach. And that's what's wrong with these retarded niggas, and that's why niggas is doing bad. They loyalty They're for be sale, doing tech. bad. Super loyal mm-hmm. for sale. That shit is ugly. They I mean, they loyalty is for sale. Exactly. Super. Whoever got the most money, that's who you. That's who you. That's who you. You, you won't be loyal to. You know Some what even do it for less. Believe it exactly, or not. Yo, thought, when, when, how did you feel that day when when that back to back drop and Drake said Yeah that, that, he was right. I'm gonna keep it real listen, I was knocked the fuck out, right? Yeah. <laughs> I wake up right in the middle of the night. I'm right here, <laughs> my phone is going the notifications are going crazy. crazy. Right. All these text messages. Right. First thing I'm thinking, then did one of my niggas get shot with right. Right. Exactly. Like, wait a minute. What the fuck is going on? I get up. <laughs> I get up and I'm going through my joints. Yo, man, Drake shouts your name and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I, 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 put, I listened to the John. When I heard it, I'm like, oh, shit. Shit about to be lit. <laughs> <laughs> you do know my prices just went up. Right. You know? That's right. Exactly. You do know my prices uh, just went all the way up. I'm trying to right. up for everything. Okay. Like, oh, exactly. You want, me, you want me just to walk around here? I need this. <laughs> yes, right. I need, that, I need this to earn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's, that was major, man. You know what I mean? Motherfucker said my name on the shit that everybody in the world played constantly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was honorable. You know what yeah, I'm saying? One of probably the biggest and he used to that this two, ever. Yeah, was nominated for a Grammy. Exactly. 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 Nominated for a Grammy. shit charted. I never <laughs> even met him. Never spoke to him or nothing. Mm-hmm. So it was like, for him to do that, <clears throat> and he stirred it up, man. Guess what happened? You know, Meek fell right for this bait. You know for the bait, it was man. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I seen it. You know, I like Meek. I yeah. talk a lot of shit about Meek, but yeah. so people think that yeah. I don't like Meek, but I like Meek no, me because Meek represents the streets. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what I feel like, just like I always tell people, is that he might not, um, he might not be that street. You understand? Because yeah. it's just certain things, behaviors, and traits but, but, that I see that but, don't. But you don't even have to be coincide. Like, it's all about getting. And, 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 yeah, it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. But is you ain't gotta be, but be that. You yeah, understand? Yeah. So when you represent something else and you something else. Well, so you long want, story what short, doing? what yeah. I was trying to say was, I like Meek. You know? Yeah. He's cool as I like motherfucking Meek Mill. He's a cool guy. He's cool. Mm-hmm. Definitely cool. Yeah, but anybody guidance, else. But, you know, he's cool. Smack the shit out you. He the first artist that I interviewed when I hopped on MTV. And he, and he was super cool. And and, and yeah, even, cool. and like, if I go to industry event, I've been my manager somewhere. Like, he'll actually come over and speak to both of us. Like, he's he's one of the very few rappers in the music industry that will always speak. And that's but you want to know something though? You know, man, Meek was we was like we was close friends with all this shit. Like mm-hmm. that's why I was what like, you th- what you think, mate? What made it? It was out of pocket because we was close friends. Like I used to be in this house. Oh wow! I used to be in this. You know, house arrest. I'm in this crib chilling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I used to be in, in um old Melly's cousin crib chilling. Like then all the time. Though. Was you there when Dean got snuffed? Uh, no, I wasn't there. That was you know my young boy did it, but I wasn't there. What happened exactly? What did you hear? Like. 
Um, you know, see, everybody think it's an OBH and Dream Chaser thing. No, yeah, I heard it wasn't like, nothing like that. I heard it was just something personal. They knew each other for 14 years. Mm-hmm. They've been cool for 15 years. That was an isolated incident. They've been cool for 15 years. <clears throat> My man, brother, get killed. You know, Spade, though, from Major Figures, went to um prison for that. That's what he did the time for. Mm-hmm. Killing nigga brother. And, you know, all this shit was over, you know, Chris and Eve. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's who they were the man, you know, the, you know, state property versus major figure shit in Philly back in the day. So a whole fight broke out back in the day and <clears throat> Spado went to jail for it. You know what I mean? I don't really think he did it. It was alleg- allegedly, he pulled that, did it allegedly. Yeah. But he went to jail for the shit. You know what I'm saying? He did like 10, 12 years and he come home. But meanwhile, Dean, that was Dean folks like that. And Dean went to jail, and my man, they was walkies. They was in jail, walking the yard together every day with the child. Everything together every day. He telling him, like, yeah, he crying. Like, yeah, crying to him. I killed my brother and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? So when he come, Dean come on first, my Shady had to do, like, eight years in prison for shooting and shit. So when Shady come on, first they call him Shady. We call him home. He's like, yo, man, Dean in the picture with the ball. He's like, huh? No. What the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like, man, he cursing his sister and everybody. My man, like, man, my, my nigga Dean ain't doing no shit like that, cuz. Cursing niggas out. So when he come on, be shit. Like, damn, dog. Like, I'm crying to you, but my brother, man. Y'all was tight. You was my man. Like, first you like, first he said, he said, Dean was like, man, he ain't my cousin bringing him around. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't, you know I mean? But then you see them two in the pictures isolated. Like, man. So he like, man, I, I see you. I'm punching on you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we seen him, punched him up. Then he ran and shit. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that was, that's the but thing, That was though. it. That was that, that was the whole it. event. That was it. He just punched God. On Chris and Ethan on block. Got the car. Punched him up. Boom, boom. He ran. And that was it, man. That's an isolated incident, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Right. They was, you, you see what I'm saying? They friends. They got their own issues. Yeah. It wasn't an OBH versus Gene Chaser Jones. Yeah. It was just. It was a personal issue. Yeah, personal, personal respect. and respect thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, I talked to Meek before, like a month before that. You know what I'm saying? Man, Meek squashed out a little difference. Yeah. Okay. So it was like, all right. So when that happened, they bought Instagram saying, you know what I mean? Oh, this shit, I'm thinking, like, oh, me going to fall for the bait again, say some slick shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> when it's really an icy incident, but, yeah. you know, they didn't, though. They knew, like, they, they was homies, and, you know, it's personal, man. Yeah, yeah. And it was just a fight. It wasn't mm-hmm. no shooting and shit involved. It was Thank just God. a rumble. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? you got to honor them. Two men can fight. That's mm-hmm. right. I agree with you. you got to honor that, man. Yeah. I, and he, my, my man punched him up. He ran. He ain't honor, they didn't honor the fight, but, you know, that's on them, man. But I'm shady, my man, I'm back in this play up 100%. Everything he got going on, you know what I'm saying? But that's his friend. That's his childhood friend. Yeah. So it's like, all right, I let them, you know what I mean, handle that like men. You know what I'm saying? So he just ran. <clears throat> yeah, he ran. Oh, man. I mean, but, you know, I, I, I can't. I mean, what else can I say? He ran, man. I, I'm trying to make it sound. How fast did he? Oh, hell, 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 <laughs> I can't. <laughs> text, text, text. No. You know when a nigga no. run, you gotta laugh. Listen, no. if no. I get snuffed and you heard I ran, you gonna laugh at me, right? No, I'm not. Yes, I you mean, are. It don't no, matter how much you love, you gonna laugh. You not not like, I need to talk too much shit anyway. No, I'm not. I am. No. You can't be talking shit and running. Exactly. Like, you can't I want to make sure exactly. you okay first. I want to make sure you okay first. I want to make sure you okay first. I ain't running. And then I might. Nah, I'm laughing. I might. I might. I might. But you know, it's, it's a big size difference too. But I, you can't run though. Nobody, you, you gotta be man. You gotta yeah, fight. Man. You, you gotta fight. You gotta get beat up. Yeah, I, you know what I mean? Times like niggas man. be six if deep. I'd be like, all right, uh-huh. I'm about to get fucked up. I yeah. just go pop it right off. Like, <laughs> Yo, y'all I'm six, six, six yeah, I got like, like, fuck I'm gonna do. Right? I don't care right. if it's Mike Tyson is prom. I'm not gonna run. Yeah. If it's Mike Tyson is prom, I'm not running. You might hit me, boom, might fall. It's like, we don't want to fight you, Mike Tyson. I'm not. I got. I, I got kids. I can't look at my kids in the eye. Right. You know, cause they father ran from somebody, man. And they bit somebody ear off. You. That, listen, like, that would drive me insane. I I, I would have to kill people. <laughs> me running. I gotta redeem my honor. I can't look in the mirror every day like that. Man, I ran from. Oh man, this is yeah, a. I, I ain't a lot of you, boy, man. Oh man, I had to just, kill somebody. Your pride man. is not gonna Ooh. be the same anymore. It's no, like, shout out to, to my son somebody. Jock. That's in Philly right now. Matter of fact, he. I told y'all he the nigga that gave me my heart. Like this nigga, like mm-hmm. built me. Yeah. We was like going to war with niggas, and this yeah. nigga was on some. I'm like, yo, we gonna cut around this way. He like, no, we walking through them. I'm like, it ain't make sense to this day. I think about it, it ain't make sense. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the nigga just he had the heart of a lion, and you know what I mean? He just yeah. really instilled that in me. That's why I don't really, I don't fear much, my nigga. Only it's thing I fear is fucking okra. Um, mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got I got the same type of jaw because I feel like <clears throat> when you know uh, you I've been I've been around so I understand men, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I know one thing about men, I don't care if you shoot and everything, men don't want to get hurt. They don't want to get shot. Right. Yeah. So it's like I always try to be the aggressor. Even if I'm faking you out. Mm-hmm. I done had, you know, guys we done went to war, I done, you know, I done allegedly shot them. How know many times you been shot? Thirteen times. God damn, yeah. nigga. So I, I, what the fuck y'all doing in the village? Guys, Yo, I let me slot, slot, and I just... Y'all gotta relax. We gonna stop the violence We gotta better. We gotta You like the better. third nigga from Philly I know they got hit. <laughs> double time, you double digits. Yeah. It's the life I chose, man. I, I, I mm-hmm. don't, you know, it's like, man, I'm out here, man. I don't did a lot of shit. You but know you're what? honorable, and a lot of men aren't. Hey, hey, mm. Thank you. And, and, and it's so fucked up. It's like my crew. I hang around with a fucking... But these niggas I grew up with from the sandbox, these niggas is is, is monstrous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm the face of this shit because I rap. Right. So when my cousin or somebody put the gun on somebody and all that, they don't ever got to see him again. Mm-hmm. That's what they're going to see. You. Right. Yup. Right. That's who gets shot. Right. Me. You. you. Yep. Am I going to say that? That's, that's exactly who I would have shot. Right. Right. We're going to shoot this rapping they ass nigga me. right here. Follow my car. Oh. Like, but that's that's not the worst. I got shot. That's not worse than other shit to have. I got my house shot up with my kids in the motherfucker, man. Oh, my God. Damn. Motherfucker follow me to my kids' house, man. Shot my crib up, man. I had to go out to exchange with them, man. Because mm. I ain't having them. I had to run the crib. Get on the floor. Come back out and we got to go on exchange, man. Yeah. It was like, you know what I mean? I done right. beat, I done beat, you know, rappers up, drug them, and, you know, Allegedly, bullets hit their car a whole bunch of times. So I got a reputation out there. It's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's, it'd be a lot of, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, a lot of shit, a lot of you know, shit. I like shit like that. <laughs> a lot of shit was going on. I, I hang with a whole bunch of niggas who just be in all types of shit. Mm-hmm. And there's a hundred niggas. So I'm accountable for everything they do. They're going to see AR Ab at a club. They might want to follow me and give it to me. I can't catch this man. I'm going to catch Ab, man. Ab mm-hmm. probably told him to do it. Even though I did, I don't got nothing to do with this shit, but. Right. And I got to bite that because these are the same dudes I'm going to call when it's time to get goofy. Or right. when I'm going to some shows and shit, man, come on. They're going to carry it and all that. Like right. They're going to be in the car full deep with all the pistols. Mm. Ten pistols and, and only four of them in the car. They got to bring all mine and all the rest of the house. Allegedly. So they're going right. to so they mm-hmm. sacrifice themselves for me. So I got to bite the shit that come with this shit, man. They might rob some. I got to... You know what I mean? I'm on the phone every other day comment beats down. No, y'all don't do it. No, like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, young boys. Yo, y'all don't think y'all can fucking increase the peace in the rap community in Philly? It's like, like um, it's, it it's, feels like it's always you know what, though? It's some sort of static, man, it, with it, the Philly it, rappers. In Philly right now, everything is cool in Philly right now. It, mm-hmm. ain't, it ain't like everybody squashed this shit. I, was, I ain't gonna lie. I was mad when you when you and Meek started beefing during the Drake beef because yeah. I knew what it was when Drake did it. Yeah. So when Meek bit the shit and, yeah. you know, came at you and y'all started beefing, I was like, fuck, they fell for it, this motherfucker. I didn't fall yeah. for it. See, this me whole no, joint is this. This me whole joint. I'm going to get the whole joint with me. How man, him to joint really start. It was deeper than that. It was, I know Meek. Mm-hmm. Meek was my friend, a good friend of mine. It, me and Meek be in the car by himself. Well, when I'm a nigga, we go to the malls and shit before he got signed. Yeah. I seen this whole joint. You know what I'm saying? So I know him. You know what I'm saying? So, But Dark Low don't know him. Mm-hmm. My little brother Leek just did nine years in prison. He got locked up for six shootings. He's my, my blood, brother, same mom, same dad. It was on American Most Wanted, Fully Most Wanted. So, you know, they don't know him. Mm-hmm. So, you know, another rapper, I ain't going to get into it. I can't say his name. Another rapper came back and told Lowen him something. You feel what I'm saying? And, like, you know, I'm in prison. So Lowen him go, man, fuck me. I mean, Lowen him go right at this shit, like yeah. on some shit like that. And, you know, you know, he ain't never, he ain't never forget that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, 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 I called me from the prison for my, like, yo, man, my, you know, my, listen, man. I told him to my peoples, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit dead. Man, you, man, you, man, you brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? I caught him on the... I ain't want my niggas to get crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, listen. And this was my friend at the time. So I squashed this shit. I come home. He was in jail and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like everything Dark Low says, like, they think he's talking about me, the, the, the internet. You know what I'm saying? So so it was some shit that was, was said on some interviews, some indirect shit, whatever. And it was like people keep thinking... People keep thinking that I'm, that's my folks. People keep thinking that we, we going to each other. We wasn't though. I talked to me on the phone and everything. But his whole issue with, is with why your homies keep coming at me. Every time indirect shit say pop up, darker jump in his low, man, fuck you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or my brother to say something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I got, I tell my brothers, listen, man, it's not him. Like, it's, he ain't talking about us. It's not about that. So, you know, when Drake said that, I mean, when Drake said that, my um lower and my man that was on the internet popping this shit. You know what I'm saying? And 
First, they man said some shit like the boy Dina got punched up. All right. He put some shit up like, yeah, man. Beans had said some shit. Is that his new name? The boy Dina got punched up? Damn, man. <laughs> oh, punched Listen, up, Dean. <laughs> what you call him? Said some shit y'all, like, y'all look, Beans had some clip he, from about 10 years, like 08, 07, 08 clip. Like, when he's like, I'm going to start punching these soft ass rappers, Drake and all them niggas. So Dean put it up, and but his cash was AR Ab 2. You know what I'm saying? So I went down, they blocked that same day, though. I was chilling, but they wasn't out there. Well, long story short, you know, Lowe said, Lowe jumped in his bag. You know what I mean? Man, boom, 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 boom. But Lowe wasn't even saying niggas' names. Like, man, fuck y'all niggas, man. OBH, OBO, all this type of shit. And, and, and that's what made me jump on the stage and say that. So when I talked to Meek, I'm like, damn, you ain't see me? She said, no, man, but Lowe and them keep coming at me, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm I like, know. man. I understand Meek's position, too, because right. I'm, I'm that same way. Like, I'd be like, nah, you ain't got to feel that way, but your man do. You know what I mean? So I, I understand his, his, his stand on it, too. You know what I mean? I'm like, nigga, I ain't say... Because I'm shooting I'm like, everybody in your crew. I'm like, I ain't say nothing everybody. about you. You know what I'm saying? Just put it down, fly. Everybody. They like, nah, he cool. Or so he, him too. You know why? Because if he see me in the spot, he going to text him and say, he in here. So now you text him. Yeah, you get on, Now you text on Escobar. You killing mm-hmm. families. Everybody. I don't give a fuck about it. I talk, I'm not no mob, nigga. I don't know nothing about none of that bullshit. <laughs> Niggas out here running with mob rules. I keep yeah. telling y'all the mob was bozos. Them niggas was Italian <laughs> dickheads with grease in their hair, fat niggas that was extorting bakeries and daycares and shit. Like, Look. they was gangster. How you walk up in the spot like, give me my 10000 Niggas is 67 years old selling bread. Go take that shit from a G. You know what yeah. I mean? Which is true. <laughs> Long story short, though, I'm going to get this out there, clear. Ain't no beef with no rat. All, all, all. Right now, it's probably the most peaceful. It's been for all the Philly artists. That's yeah. good, it's man. No that's real right. shit. Because I always say Philly got the best rappers, man. I, I always felt that way for years, man. Like There's no beefing right now. Y'all so. niggas just be beefing. If y'all band together and came hard the same way You know, LA everybody say hard. that, though. Jenny yeah. just say that. A lot of niggas, a lot of people, you understand, Philly is full of spitters. Spitters. Yeah. That's all we do. New York probably got the best battle rappers. We yeah, they, y'all do got the best <laughs> battle rappers. I, we talking about just spending some hot shit, Philly man. It's my, nah, I said I ain't gonna lie. I you tell niggas Philly is on the front line. If it's, if it's, if it's a battle, I'm gonna grab a everybody. couple Philly niggas. Like, yo, let me grab these Philly niggas, these Muslim niggas. We going right to the masjid right now. Somebody in there rap. <laughs> Somebody in this motherfucker. You just pick a nigga with yeah, a bed. It ain't no like, beef between everybody. It ain't no beef between no Philly rappers. Man. That's everybody good. Everybody on man. peace, man. That's, That's good. good. Everybody on everybody on peace. That's friends. good. Y'all yeah, fucking so. with that little Uzi out there? I, don't, I never met Uzi. I came. I came home from prison. He was pop. I never met him and shit. But mm-hmm. little Uzi is cool. He be high as a motherfucker. Yeah, super. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, 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 I was like, I had contact. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> he was like, shit, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. P and B rocking SOBs right now. Oh, that's dope. And P and B rock. That's my that's that's probably that's yeah. my guy right there. His manager, mm-hmm. man, man, Mont from the same neighborhood. We like a block apart. Yeah. Oh, I seen Mont before Mont went down for his homicide. Oh, I Mont, some money, nigga. Just, the first thing he said to me, he's like, "Yo, man, you got that six hundred dollars you got from me?" I was like, "God damn, nigga, what the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, man, Mont, Holy man, Mont, tight God, from the same hood and shit. Some but money, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pimmy Rock, good guy, man. He he humble. He probably one of the humblest niggas I met, man. Like on some humble. Yeah. Like, his fame is getting his buzz growing up quickly. And he's just humble. I got to honor that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's an honorable shit. A lot of motherfuckers be, don't got the buzz. And, like, you got to see some of these Philly rap niggas. They don't even got, they ain't even a big rapper, but they is bougie as shit. Bougie as shit. It, <laughs> it, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. It's the internet. Like, it's the internet. You don't even know about it. It's just because you get a thousand like, likes. It? You get a thousand it's likes. It's a likes that's over. You get a thousand I'm likes, you can't that. tell them nothing. No. Uh. Niggas will look at you nasty, nigga. They get like, enough likes. It ain't about the likes no more. It's the views. And then look at me. I got a bigger buzz than all of them, and I'm just, I just be chilling. Yeah, I get around right. these niggas, these niggas. I'm like, well, dang. Like, niggas, <laughs> right, wait a minute. What I'm doing wrong? Like, I don't know why I even know you outside of Philly. You bougie. Nah, shit, niggas is really like that, yo. I said some shit about Philly one day. Yo, and, uh, yo, the Philly niggas, y'all better, yo, yo, nigga, y'all better stop hitting me on my Instagram playing with me. <laughs> Talk, nigga called nigga call me all types of rats and shit. Let me explain something to you little niggas. I don't even play like that. Like, <laughs> We could go. We could take that's, the that's, smoke all the way. It's, it's like, two things you don't call him, man. You don't call him man a rat or faggot. Yeah, you gotta got to be ready to go. I got you a call him a rat. With that. You, you call him a rat, you better kill Nigga him. Nigga can't tell me that another man a rat or a faggot. You got to have some proof because before you give somebody that title, man. Nah, they like, call me that because it's some, some video I did on Vlad. 
And I was telling the nigga Vlad about the Quentin Miller dream chaser fight or whatever. So dudes was hitting me like, yo, what if Meek gets violated? I said, how the fuck Meek gonna get violated? Nobody never said Meek hit nobody. Yeah. That was never the story. Mm -hmm. right. I would have never even said it. Because guess what? I always thought that. You understand what I'm saying? I would have never even said this shit. Like, fuck is you talking about? Vlad hit me. He was like, yo, I just asked Quentin the shit. I asked Quentin the question that you said. And... <laughs> Quentin told me it was true. Can I show him the video clip that you had? Like, and I was like, go ahead. I don't give a fuck. Put it up, nigga. I don't listen. Cause one thing, one, let me explain something to you. I don't tell secrets. Mm -hmm. Once I say it to anybody, it ain't a secret no more. I don't give a fuck where it go, nigga. That's I ain't true. pussy. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't out here. I ain't one of them niggas talking in the, in the bathroom and then see niggas yeah. and be like, yo, yeah. what's going on? You I ain't that understand what we do. Right. Yeah. You understand what we do. Stand by your I word. talk crazy, word. don't I? You ever seen my interview that I talk correctly? You want to know Doc why though? Low, man. Doc Low is in the building too, I'm man. I'm the top goon of Philly. That's why. <laughs> Doc Low, Do you have anybody, yeah, you ever, yeah, ever heard yeah, anybody say, I ain't the top goon? Nobody gonna say, I ain't the top goon. They know what's up. I believe you, man. If you didn't talk that way and you want this person, you wouldn't be where you at. Exactly. It was all about like watching, <laughs> watching Fifty Cent do it. I'm like, you gotta take it crazy. to the next level now. Right. We need, we need street rap just back. Talk shit all day. I don't care. Fucking, <laughs> we I'm, need that street I feel, rap I feel back. Like man, man, I'm doing this shit. I'm really out here active. Like at, at you know, super active. Fuck it. Let's get it. You know right. what I'm saying? My my records. Yo Drake. Yo Drake. Throw my son AR Ab two hooks and let's go. Let's get it, man. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. We gonna get this to Drake. Drake listening. He be listening. Ready, man. We ready, man. We trying to get this bag, so, man. Let me ask you I got, I got, hold on. I got this new single with Kevin uh, Gates coming out soon, too. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Okay. I like man, that. I'm, 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 I'm going to email it to you, Zach. It's just crazy. I man. love how he loves his wife in public. Yeah. That's Shame probably one of the goodest dudes I've met, mm -hmm. man. See? Like, here, he, People keep telling me that, but I don't want to interview him. He really, like, Why not? a great guy, man. I could tell he's a manipulator. Mm. You know niggas that read too much in jail? Uh, <laughs> I can't take you. I did time. You, you understand? So <laughs> no, I pick up true, on though. certain that shit, you know true. what I mean? Faster than other people. Like, I'm not saying he not smart. I'm not right, saying right, right, he not no, poopy. No, no, no. All my niggas love him. Man, don't be like, Kevin Gates, my nigga. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it just, so people was like, yo, you want to interview this nigga? And I'm like, no, because he's going to say something that he said to one of y'all that I knew that was some bullshit. <laughs> you understand? I'm going to pull him on it. He's going to mm -hmm. get mad. You understand? Because I ain't with the dumb shit. He ain't going to just tell me anything. Yes, we have seen you. Kev we've we've seen you react. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm trying to avoid I'll that. Just, I was just talking about that shit. We just talking about that shit in the car. You snapped on homeboy and shit. Oh, man. Yeah. You talking about that shit in the car. <laughs> shit <laughs> crazy. Don't feed your button. So, um, crazy, what's man. the record about with you and Gates? Um, we just going in, man. I, I seen Gates. Man, Gates been talking, though, like via uh, DM. And I talked to him on the phone when I first came home from prison this time. But uh, I, I bumped between me in the mall down south by Southwest. You know he, you know he start talking this. You know, you know he not talk that shit, yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> talk game. He like... talk that motherfucking shit, man. Like he can, <laughs> he he can talk, man. Mm -hmm. So we start talking that shit. We change. I'm, first, I'm like, listen, I'm gonna hit you. Whatever show you going at tonight, I'm just gonna come through and check it on your on your page because I don't even want to ask you for your number. I don't know how they gonna be. Right. He said, man, give me your number, man. <laughs> he's like, he's like, give me your number, <laughs> man. We don't do that shit. So we I exchange numbers with him and shit. He called me. I'm in the bed. I go to bed early. I'm in the bed at one o'clock. He, in the morning, he called me like, yo, come to, come on, come to the studio. I said, well, it's, yo, he said, my hotel room. I said, I'm like, fuck it, I'm, it's an opportunity. I get mm -hmm. up. You did right, that's right. Dark little sleep. Come on, low, we out. <laughs> and my other man, I said, come on, we out. And it was like about 15 of us that went down there. So only me, I, I ain't, listen, I, I ain't type the niggas gonna bring 100 niggas to just, just mm -hmm. your, your um, private spot. Right. I'm like, I'm gonna bring this, I, only, I was only gonna bring Dark Love, but my man was, I said, come on, we got three of us and shit. I get there. He already got the hook organized. He got everything organized. And he like, man, this go. we going back and forth, too, for two two verses. Man, I'm going back and forth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, crazy yeah, hook, crazy everything. Ass, right? So he like hey. this, man. He said, Ad, man, this is for you, man. I want to see you win. This is for you. I don't want nothing from it. Just send me the paperwork. I sign off on all this shit. This is for you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn. That's love. That's no, real that, nigga. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, he got the number you know, two rare. song in the country for niggas to give you a you know, a verse right now for him might be 40 or 50. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They right. give to me that shit for free. It's not just a verse. It's like two verses. We going back and forth. Yeah. And he on the hook on, and everything. He gave me the beat. It was his producer and all that shit. Yeah. That's honorable. A lot of niggas don't like it for some reason. They don't like extending their hand. They, 
Like, no, because they don't want you to win. Taking That's, your, they, taking exactly. Their spot. It's, it's competition. Yeah. Like, like, I always said, candles don't lose, lose light. No. Like the number but that's insecurity. When you secure with how you moving and you know your talent, you don't give exactly. like, like like you can't yeah, you, you can't fuck, fuck with my lane. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> I'm thinking you see a hungry You're motherfucker. Like, like, exactly. Any walks of life, I could be just a I could be a drug dealer. Right. I'm, this nigga fucked up. I'm gonna give him something. I can't just see nobody fucked up mm-hmm. if I'm able to help you and lose nothing from it. But you it. have a good heart. Everybody's not like that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. If I'm yeah. not gonna lose nothing from helping you, like yeah, but people, waste like, my time. But people don't think like that. Though. Here. People don't think I don't like never that. Never mind to help people. I like helping neither. women. I don't like helping niggas. Niggas are <laughs> ungrateful, and then you gotta body them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, text, I, I, I like wild, help. Man. I, like, I can't I say a lot women. of niggas. Is so You're a wild motherfucker, Jack. <laughs> now I like. Nah, seriously, son. What I've, I've learned them over my quest that women are more loyal. They are more loyal to men. They are not really loyal to women. No, they loyal. You know I mean, you know, you know they're not loyal to women. No, you're a street nigga. You know No, not at all. You're a street nigga, Tess. You know that, like, all the prison time I did, huh? if it wasn't for sad. women, I would I would have starved. Mm-hmm. Everybody was suffering my last... God, life. some night. God, no, <laughs> held me down my last prison bed. Mm-hmm. But my wife held me down. Of course. Right. Yeah, like, I mean, like, and every prison... I did four prison bids. You know what I'm saying? Every mm-hmm. prison bid I had, it was a woman who was sending me money orders every single Make week. Sure I said, I, I lived off of women. Yeah. Respect it. And if I And if not, if it wasn't for the woman I'm with, it's going to be my, my sister, my aunt. Right. My mom, right. they go, and I don't ask. My, I never asked my mom for nothing. I was like fifteen. I, don't, I asked my mom for shit. Mm-hmm. I, I got, I got, I got a pet peeve with that. You know what I mean? I don't ask my mom for nothing. So my mom just to look out the sending out the clear blue. I'd rather start. I'm gonna take somebody's shit. We in prison. Man, I don't got no sympathy for suckers behind these walls, man. That's a fact. Yeah, but you, you should have did the crime. But you a man. I mean, it's sometimes you, guys nigga, you feel sorry. Like, why you take his food? Ass, you in the man. jungle? You in the jungle, man? <laughs> I had to realize that because I'm a very. I don't like. You know what? I always tell people I was a bully when I was younger. Mm-hmm. So. Nah, I don't really like bullies, so I bully bullies. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So okay, okay, right, okay. So 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 now you're trying to you know equalize nah, your karma. I yeah, I don't. You trying know to equalize your karma now? Is, <laughs> I, I don't know if I trying to balance it out. I don't know if I be jealous or what. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is this nigga doing? <laughs> I be policing any room. You know what I realized, though, Tech, though? Relax. I'm going to tell you one thing about bullies, Tech, what I learned, Tech. Right, 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 right. I ran across a lot of bullies, a couple of bullies in my life, right? When you get them on a one-on-one turn tip, Mm -hmm. no, and you show them, like, let's do it. They don't even want no problem. They don't want no I, problem. I'm in prison. This nigga screamed the whole block. Back nigga, like, here, fuck all y'all. Like, who you referring that to? Say somebody's name. He like, nigga, all oh, y'all, nigga. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> he ran up the steps <laughs> to himself. Go get his knife. I walked in my cell with my knife. But my man, he, he was trying to get knives off for another nigga. My man said, no, don't pass no knives off to this nigga. He come downstairs. Come on, come to the cell. Lock the door on him. <laughs> Boom. Let's kill each other. Oh, oh, first of all, we both Muslim. And- <laughs> oh, Muslim car. But listen, though. But listen, though. <laughs> but listen, though, Tax. Yeah. You won't say that shit in front of the whole block, though. Yo, this is true But in the privacy shit, though, man. of our cell, my cell, you're going to... Man, listen, we Muslim. <laughs> it was a nigga that knocked. I see him knock two niggas out on the block. He bumped me hard as shit, walking past. <laughs> Boom. I, everybody I'm wet. They, they're like, they ain't see. They a little scared of the nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at my nigga. They're like... They hid them. I said, man, listen, walk me in the cell. Boom, what's up, man? He bumped me hard as shit. He, he, listen, man. No, listen, man. I'm tweaking him high and this, that, and the third. I watched him knock two niggas out. I'm thinking, like, why is he coming out to me? Mm-hmm. You know why? Because I went at him. Bullies mm-hmm. not used to being. They not used they to. They not used to a nigga like. Mm-hmm. They can stop playing me, man. If I hurt you in this that's job. Why, that's why I always tell niggas when when you when that gun is back on you. Yeah. I just had this. I forgot how the fuck we got on this discussion earlier. You I had think that my man just said something about somebody back. Lost. Oh yeah, my man got a song. Nigga casting over got a song. Yeah. And he'd be like, "They ain't know I had the gun. They ain't know I had the Glock." Niggas tried to get me for my watch, yeah. and the shit is real. Cause one yeah. day we was robbing so many people that we was laxed one night. Just on it, like yeah, we just getting this nigga. Yeah. And we ran up on some nigga and tried to book him, and that nigga started letting it go on us. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And we was like, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about this, one thing about bullies. What we was doing, like, 
A lot of bullies <laughs> get. I got returned. That's like the big niggas right. that be working out and all that shit, right? Oh, I don't working out for that. nothing. I they stopped working listen. out in jail on purpose. They do that shit. I was like, what? That's a defense mechanism. <laughs> Everybody. Uh-huh. That's a defense yeah. mechanism. Yeah. mechanism. They, they do that it. shit because they won't get tested. And yeah. they don't never get in fights because people intimidate them. They right. fall the hardest. When you though. pull them in the corner. Mental He's in the corner. I love pulling niggas. That's my thing, though. real shit. He's not lying. You pull them in the corner. I seen a dude from my hood do this all the time to you people. He told me, you speak to somebody on a one-on-one and you tell them you'll kill them. Yeah. And he said, niggas, he said, niggas, some niggas just, they want to protect their name in front of people. If they oh, believe you. You know what I mean? They, they wanna, believe you. They got pride. Mm-hmm. They look at me in my eye like, this nigga, he in jail for killing somebody right now. Right, yeah. so maybe, maybe. Before allegedly right. killing somebody. <laughs> and I don't want to be the next victim. So, mm-hmm. like, a lot. But you can't do it on a snatching their pride, Joe. You got to do it on a, listen, bro. I don't, I, I don't know what you, you I used to. But I don't play like that, man. Like we gonna die about this shit, man. Like no disrespect, we're really gonna die about this, John, man. Like don't play with me like that, man. And they usually don't play with me after that. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's how that shit go, man. And a lot of niggas is they big people be intimidated. They never get tested. You gotta test these niggas, man. That's and watch fact. them fold, man. I watch them fold, man. Niggas don't be lions, man. I got nigga hit they me on the internet. Fingers, man. Nigga hit me on the internet, said some crazy shit to me. Was in the room with me smoking weed a week ago. <laughs> a fucking what? week ago, my nigga. <laughs> That's a lot I of didn't niggas. even know. <laughs> nigga That's a lot said, of niggas, though. said tax. Why he ain't say that to you last week? I said, I right? said, what you last week when? Right. <laughs> he said, this is the nigga. I said, Jesus Christ, this kid been talking about me for a long time. I wish I knew it was him. He was a lot he of niggas. Fan, I would have chewed this nigga face off no, if I knew it was him. But he was a fan. That's what it was. I'm past that because I juice. Mm-hmm. A juice and the juice yeah. makes you peaceful. Get that kale and that ginger and you. Well, no, some do Juice make you peaceful. So about to say have your balance. Can they bring the do say in here? Can yes. nobody? I, I vow to not to let nobody trick me out my freedom, man. Yeah, Smart. that's yeah, the no man. Freedom, man. And I knew but the controversy made me had. I knew the whole world. They was expecting me. I was they like, yo, because people was like, yo, somebody's yeah. gonna die. I was like, I saying, hope not. I'm yeah. saying it ain't that serious. It was like Fifty Cent put the post up. Like, hey. Somebody gonna die. Somebody gonna get hurt. I'm like, damn. Everybody and everybody know me. They know mm-hmm. Ab is gonna kill some fucking body. So I did the opposite. My John was like, I ain't going. You know what I mean, no, because you don't know no niggas. No niggas would have did. You understand? All, all niggas would have did was free AI Ab all day on Instagram. And Kevin, exactly. Kevin cops pulling up on me like, all right, when you, when you gonna do it? It's like the cops saying that. When you gonna do it? Like, yo, man, I ain't doing nothing, man. <laughs> so I tried to avoid that shit. But at the end of the day, though, it was like I knew if I would have seen him, it'd have been like. We just like, what's going on? We just shook hands, but I didn't want my niggas to see them niggas, and I ain't there. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, were, yeah. they were, you know, they, they the one. Mm-hmm. But if I'm there, they gonna go. I know they gonna go that way. Man, this man was friends, like mm-hmm. a really like real friends. So mm-hmm. it was like, you know what I'm saying? Right. I know once he see me, it's like, oh man, what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Right, Nigga right. regretted it right after that. We got mutual homies. They're like, yo, man, Meek said he was, you know what I mean? So is he a street fuck dude up. or is he not? Because I know you said before you vouch for him, and then. Like, what is it? Like, um, you know, I don't really care. You know, you don't even got to answer. This is my John. This is my John. Because I don't like glorifying the streets too much no more. He's from the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's from the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? There's niggas in the neighborhood, you know, who was like real. Like, we was running shit, and some niggas would just hell on some chill shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? He's a good dude, he's man. He's drunk the man. say out there. He, 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 was, he, was, he was from the hood, so he's from the, from the block. Oh, all right. For the neighbor. From the I understand. It's mad niggas from my block. Yeah, you from the neighborhood. Shout out to all the niggas from my block. Yeah. I don't even speak to y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I, I was waiting like, okay, now what's going to be the second part of this? <laughs> Shout out to Miss Milana here with her knees out. Yeah. Did you lotion your knees? Yeah, I did, actually. Make sure. Shake. Throw the light on her knee just in case. <laughs> she might be ashy out here. All right, she good. No ash. Yeah. She good. All right. What part, of, what part of Queens you from? Queens Village. Queens Village? Yeah. What is that? What is that? Like, what AKA is that? Shadyville. Um, oh, yeah. Shadyville. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, that's about it. <laughs> Queen, Shout out to girl. Shadyville. There's a lot of rappers in Queens right now. The, the best rappers Queens. out there? Mm, I mean, my niggas got it as far as Soul Group Universe. Mm-hmm. They out here really rapping. I listen to them some, niggas. Giving some real bars out there. So, it's a lot of other people out there like... Loud crew, definitely Cash and Atra, Those those guys over there really rapping out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Queens niggas be aggressive. I want I want to try to relax a little bit when y'all see me. What, 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 <laughs> Dave, what Dave, you know? Ain't Dave East from Queens? Uh, nah, Dave nah, East from, from Harlem. Harlem. Yeah. 
he from Harlem, but like hung out in Queens, some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I don't fucking know. You know, like a Queens dude's been kind of aggressive with me when they see me in the street. Why like, is that? I don't know. Running it, could, could it be because you talk about them getting kidnapped? And, if you get kidnapped, you got kidnapped. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I don't got nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? Like, well, that's you. You got to go look for the niggas who kidnap you. That's what up. niggas don't like with me. I'll I put the you, mirror man. on them. I be like, yo, I heard such and such did this to you. They get mad at me. I be like, nigga, go get him. <laughs> what is you doing? Go fuck him up, nigga. <laughs> fuck. They be like, no, you bring it to light, though. You going to punch like... me in my face before you get him? <laughs> How you feel you about that shit, Tex? I ain't getting nobody to they gotta kill me on the spot, man. I'm not getting nobody. To, I feel like, man, I don't know what y'all gonna do to me. Y'all get me in this exactly. secluded area. Y'all they gonna be done stuck a tree up your ass, nigga. <laughs> do, I'm more scared of that. I'm like, you ain't got you in captivity. You can do. I'm like, you can do some shit. You can, you can do me shit. That's, you can do me do some harm to me. That's worse than dying. Some shit like right. that, man. Kill me, man. Yeah. I'm not going in that trunk. <laughs> you got that. You I'm gonna take my shot. You gonna kill boy. me? You gotta kill me right here, motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. Do not get nobody trunk, nigga. Yeah. Believe that shit. But like when you from the streets, you know. I don't never get out of my car unless until there's nobody walking past on the block. Like when mm-hmm. I'm a, when I'm going home and all that shit. Like yeah. I used to park in front of my door and I need some spots to pull right off if I got to. I park and I look, ain't nobody. So people walking down the street, got the lights off, lean back, let them walk past, they turn the corner, then I get out and go in the crib. You know what I'm saying? Because at the time I'm living in the hood, so it was like, motherfuckers count you for having more than you have. Like you tax, they might think you you know what I'm saying? Tax mm-hmm. rich now. Fuck it, it's grabbing. Yeah, I'm not rich. I'll you tell you niggas saying? that right now. Don't come rob me, nigga. So I'm gonna tell like, you, man. Gonna rob yourself. I don't park the <laughs> I don't park the car. <laughs> nigga gonna rob himself. They're gonna be tight. They're gonna be sitting there. I see fucking you. I see you a nigga. After you got, got the do say on delivery. After I got shot the last time I got shot the ten times. Man, Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm got shot with Jesus. nigga. Uh, I Jesus see, Christ! I, I, I found one of the bullets and shit. Oh my God! Man, that shit was big as shit. I think that shit was like twelve <laughs> pounds or something. Man. Well, thank yeah, God. Thank God. The first time I got pounds, shot. Son. First time I got shot was three times. The second time I got shot, I got five shot five months later. That was ten times. Jesus. Yeah. But right before that, well, right before they wanted was, your ass. Right before nigga. they was hitting me, so they, they shot my 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 my, my now my my wife shot the crib up. She was in it. They shot like they was. They were trying to get me, man. Look, you yeah. got a special calling for you to still be alive and walk in and you be That's normal. Like, I mean, no, no. You, you, seriously, like, you can't be letting beef and small shit distract you before you to make it through all of those things. You have a special calling. Nothing can distract you, bitches. This is why I try to explain shit, to niggas. It's I've true. made it to 31. <laughs> I'm 31 this year. I made it to 31, an age I never thought I would make it to. And all I could say is that, listen, if we fight, it's going to be two people losing. You understand? We both gonna lose something. Mm-hmm. You understand? And if a lion fights a lion, one of them is dying. Mm-hmm. So always keep that in mind if you're yeah. a lion. <laughs> Very yeah, true. Exactly, man. But um, it was my past. I said my past niggas I hang around with. A lot of times that shit don't be about me, man. Be about my entourage, man. You know, I, I hang around with some. some These niggas look like killers, man. man. I can tell they look like they killed somebody on the way here, man. Yeah, they crazy. I checked man. for blood stains. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we put it. You know, listen, every hood is nah, known these for something. Some educated Muslims, man. You know, every hood known for something, right? You got the hood who known for just getting money and mm-hmm. fucking the bitches. Yeah. You got the hood. Oh, how is Philly for These niggas just like, rob listen, off. These niggas just rob people. You got niggas who just, oh, these niggas broke in that neighborhood. My neighborhood, everybody shoot. All they do in my neighborhood. Like, I'm about to be cool with y'all niggas. What part of Philly is it? Like, <laughs> it's no Philly. It's a section of, it's a part of no Philly. Niggas, no, I pull up by myself, too. I pull up Dolo. Like, yo, what up? It's not even like a big thing. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers say, I mean, I, I, they, they can pull up on you. I just shot this ball. I can relate to those niggas. Motherfuckers is going to be like this. Dudes. Ain't going to be, they can say they shot somebody. It's like, all right. Hey, I, I'm, this is seriously. I swear to my Go Lord. shoot more people. This how it is, yo. This I, how it I, is I my told hood, niggas, I was, I was harassing a rapper out here. The it's niggas tried nothing. to tell me, yo, son, you know he just died to tell him do it again. Exactly. <laughs> do it one more again, nigga. But do that's the mindset again. of my neighborhood. <laughs> and I'm trying to get him out that shit. I don't, I don't, that's, the, that's a fucked up mindset. I put on Instagram the other day. Yeah. It was six members in my original rap group, the OBH. Yeah. The, it's the, it was a, a female rapper, clue to six. She's arrested right now for 100 pounds of weed. Chick, driving it back, driving it back from Mexico. Listen, she was just allegedly to get back to the community. And two of my, <laughs> and two of them, right? And two of the guys, both of them in jail for murders. Different, got life. 
for different murders. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the other two, they in jail, you know, for drugs and all types of shit. So I'm the only one out here from my original rap group. Mm -hmm. And I was in jail for a murder. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We all from the same neighborhood. Special though. calling. But I was, right. That's what I'm saying. Like, that was and, clear and guess what? For a real reason. Right. <laughs> they not all tough guys. Mm -hmm. It's just that that's that's the common thing to do in my neighborhood. Everybody yeah, shoot. Yeah. We all was locked up. Everybody around me got locked up for shooting motherfucker before got it on their record. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? That is how we. That's, that that was the thing. It wasn't like type of thing. when you grew up. Like you might grow up in like that's, that's like the gang shit. You might grow up in a blood neighborhood, so you blood. You grow up in a crip neighborhood, you crip. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in a neighborhood where it's dope. Yeah. We, we we sell drugs and shoot people. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not a big thing. It's like, hey, right, just a product it. of your environment. Yeah, That's just how it's yeah. going to go down. And, and they all younger than me, man. I'm sick because I feel like, man, I could have showed them, uh, taught them a different way, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm watching two of my young boys do life sentences, man. You That's know what I'm right. saying? Like, yeah. Keep telling niggas, my niggas right. from my team. Right. My right. These niggas I live That's with, man. That's a fact. I'm the only nigga out from, mm -hmm. from my, my little crew. All them yeah. niggas got life. Exactly. So that's why I tell niggas, nigga, this shit is whack, especially the gang banging. All you niggas, son, don't ever tell me you got to write a nigga in jail to find out what you got to do in the street. Mm. The moment you tell me that, I'm going to let you be by your motherfucking self. You don't need to be around me, nigga, <laughs> if you need guidance from a nigga in prison. I'm not saying that a nigga in prison can't give you guidance, yeah. but what I'm saying is that your ideology and your mind is fucked mm -hmm. up to where you can't even move in the street to where you need a nigga. How a nigga that ain't been out since Game Boy is going to tell you how to move on Snapchat? <laughs> Explain that, nigga. You understand? Real shit. You know what I mean? And I, I've done prison time. I know I tell y'all niggas all the time. And I got a lot of niggas in prison. And the thing is, is that in our neighborhood is so regular that we think it's regular. Exactly. And the shit ain't regular, exactly. nigga. Exactly. It ain't all regular. Of prison time, man. It was like, it was a time I, I never was out of prison for a year. Never. Until wow. 07, mm -hmm. when I came home after beating a homicide. I never was out of prison for a year. I always was in jail. It was like Evan, you know, like, this is in the comment. You know what I mean? 07, I said, I had a prison for, I got locked up in 2013. And I actually got locked up for some shit that I really had nothing to do with. I just had a lot of money in my pocket. Mm -hmm. You know how there's a tax me in the hood, the cops raid this block? They want to keep your money. Mm -hmm. So he could be selling drugs. But guess what? I got like 5000 in my pocket. Oh, we're going to wrap him in this shit so I can take the money. So that's a lot. Of, they said, they about to let me go. They said, oh, he have a large sum of money. Or keep them. They take so what they do is whoever got the most money, they gonna put it on it. They gonna write a whole story up about you. Yeah, they were selling drugs and they passed the money to me. Mm -hmm. They were selling weed. I, I don't have nothing to do with this shit. But I get locked up. I had bell. I bells out, and I'm the only one who lost the case. And I ain't have nothing on me. I ain't had nothing to do with that. Everybody That's got crazy. probation. Matter of fact. Oh, yeah. They gave me three to six years in prison for the shit. You know but, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I had nothing to do with the shit. And guess what? They said I only had, in the write-up, they said I only had 400 on me. So the whole thing is, we want to keep your money. So what we're going to do is say you were selling drugs. Yeah, you got a lot of money on you. Mm -hmm. We keep 4,600. And, you know, they keep, they put, they wrote up, he had $400 on him. That's crazy. But you know what? Unfortunately. Got me. Some of the other state prisons. Maybe sometimes you went away to protect yourself as well. Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you wanted to go to jail. I don't think no one Jail could have kept you alive. But I, I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But maybe you kept you away. Me, I'm a highly religious man. Uh -huh. And I believe that. And I praise my Lord. 100%. Because yeah. I say, listen, I could be caught up in some worse and shit. Yeah, so you was protected. I've only got right. three years. <laughs> and I did boot camp. So I got home in 18 months. Every time I went to jail, it was shit going on that I knew I would have been in. Uh -huh. My rap partner got life. I would have been in there with him. Yeah. I would have been there with him because this is the guy who we do shit together. Yeah. When he got life, it would have been me and him with the life on that jump. <laughs> mm -hmm. And on the other jump, my other rap partner got booked for his homicide. I like for his homicide. I would have been with him. But I was in prison both times. You know what I'm saying? And if I wasn't in prison, guess what? They would have stayed with it said I was there. Mm -hmm. I missed the first attempt murder I got locked up for. I didn't even do this shit. My right hand man and my folks, they got caught up on that shit. They just brought me into the case. You feel what I'm saying? Because they. We ain't gonna get one without the other. I got locked up for this shit. Belled out. I was on parole. They dropped a the detainer on me and held me, man. Then I come home and get locked up about eight, nine months later for two more attempted murders. You know what I'm so we, but this is how we was doing that shit, though. Mm -hmm. I took my hood over. When I was in the streets, I ran my hood. You hear me say it on every interview. You don't hear nobody saying, Ab, don't. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna interview them. I could, I could 
FaceTime you tomorrow with 30 motherfuckers in the room, kill us. And I said, I'll run all that. They're going to say, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're going to, they, I, I do that shit. That's what I was doing out there. Like, I got a big family. My family I told you my brother was locked up for six shootings. He beat five of them and, and got six to 12 years. He ended up doing nine because he kept stabbing motherfuckers in that joint. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? This is my blood brother, same mom, same dad. So we grew up with. You know what I'm saying? And everybody know that. It's like, all right, even if they feel like, man, I do this, but fuck it, I do that. It's like, boy, we got to deal with it. Got four or five brothers, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got brothers, man. I got blood cousins. All of them locked up. My cousins came home from shooting. Same last name. So everybody know that about us. So it's like, you can't, just, it ain't just me. We got to end this shit, man. I want to come mm-hmm. speak to the gangsters in Philly, man. Right. Jesus Christ, I'm shooting niggas so many times, my nigga. No, we Shoot done. them once or twice. Like, we done. We done, Tech. We also get Not money shit now. Now like, I'm a, I'm a whole 13. rapper now. Mm-hmm. Nah, real shit, man. I'm a whole rapper now. I got talent, man. I got blessing. I got blessing, man. You got to speak. You got to speak back. Yes, I always definitely. say to myself, like, you got to use why your voice was, now. I, why? You know, I understand why I'm living and my, one of my best friends get shot one time and died. Mm-hmm. My, other, my other best friend, right. I'm, I'm having I'm having a conversation with my young boy. He like, man, I feel like if they don't shoot me in my head, I, they can't kill me, man. That's what he's telling me. He, he just got finished getting busy wrecking on wrecking on shit in my living room. Man, about two weeks later, nigga got killed, man. Mm. He shot him in the stomach. Yeah, my other man right. died. One of my best friends died from getting shot in the stomach and checked out. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But look at me. I got my shit. My stomach tore up. Oh, Jesus. I got bullet holes all in my stomach. Damn. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I live. Mm-hmm. Not I to tell a story. Head. You know what I'm saying? God is good. I yeah. live. You all of my tell. legs. All nigga, my you here for a reason, my nigga. Seriously. You Peace in Philly. Story, man. Right? Peace in motherfucking yeah. Philadelphia. Man, Jesus. Y'all niggas got too much guns out there, too, man. Yeah, I, that's what they know about New York. It's like real tight with the gun laws out there. Yeah, seriously. You know, back in the early 2000s, right? Back in the early 2000s, you belting out $500 for a gun, man. That's why we used to be the murder capital back then. It was a gun is like not a big thing. Like you can get caught with two guns. It was like, man, your bill might be a stack. Damn. And he's probably gonna be on a probable cause, you know. Motion to cross the evidence. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Cause you ride around with it tucked in your car, and you license register and short, they're not really supposed to open nothing up. But you know, they're gonna open it up and say, I felt it in plain sight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know cops gonna lie. Mm-hmm. That's what get people caught up. But if they don't lie, you're going to beat the jaw. Mm-hmm. In old 10, I caught a gun case. The pussy was in my stash box. I know somebody choked. Don't know my, how they know my stash box at. Exactly. They pulled me up. This, this, that this, was my mistake. This is like two days after. This is a day or two after my my, my chick house gets shot with my kids in, with my, my kids in wow. it. I'm going to see my other baby mom. I'm going to see my other baby mom and shit. I'm on the way back. You know, I got a pistol on me. I'm like, I got to carry this motherfucker now, man. Like, I, I can't let nobody take me away from my family. Mm-hmm. So I got the pistol on me. The cops, I'm on a jail call. My windows rolled down. I see the fucking highway patrol, but like, I'm trying to, I was too late now. You know what I'm saying? They pulled me over. They went right to my stash. I'm like, how'd yeah. go right to it? Somebody snitching. Book me. Mm-hmm. Scared the shit out of me talking about, yeah, you know, your serial number scratched off. You're going to fed. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, shit in my head. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. But they ain't right. do that. I beat that That's case. Um, I beat that case through a motion. They had no probable cause. Cause they they ain't lie. They said they found it in the stash box, but it was mm-hmm. halfway open. My lawyer said, "Was he in the drug area? Was he acting crazy when you pulled him over?" No, no. I right, what? You can't open nothing up. He got he gave you license registration and insurance. I said, I'll beat that case. Thank, thank you, God. This is the case I was worrying about beating. God bless. Then I lose the case. I had nothing to do with. And now I want to talk to you guys about Squarespace. Squarespace is a site. That's made for novices, people that are not well versed in coding and designing. And you can easily make a website with this site. We're making tax season right now and it's becoming along very easy. I'm just very picky about color schemes and certain things. So it hasn't been built yet. But tax dot com is on the way. So you guys stop nagging me. Squarespace put me on. And even though using Squarespace is easy, it also looks very professional. It looks like some guy named Dexter made it for you. So make sure you sign up and you go to squarespace.com and get your websites done immediately. And make sure you tweet me, 
Text me, Instagram me, Facebook me, anything in the book and let me know that you made your site. Seriously, you can't beat the ease and simplicity of Squarespace. Squarespace gives you a 24-7 online support and a beautiful website. So what are you waiting for? Start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the offer code TAX to get 10% off your first purchase and to show your support for tax season. We thank Squarespace for their support of the tax season podcast. Be safe, though. And now back to the show. How many drug conspiracies you got caught up in, Sophie? To this day, you know, I mean, so many counts, I can't even count them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, no. No, 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 no. no. Like, Niggas thought like, she was Griselda. <laughs> right. Niggas <laughs> fell in love. I'm Griselda Blanc over here. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. She from D.C., so, you know. I mean, I've been around the East, but, you know, we're not going to. We're going to keep everything. You from D.C.? Mm-hmm. So, you got some new things going on, don't you? I have a lot of shout, new things. Shout, 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 Glizzy. That's my that's family right I t- I told him to come up here today. Who, oh, where is he? Man. He out here? Yeah, he out here. So why the fuck he ain't come up here? Text him, tell him I said what's Tell that like motherfucker, <laughs> Shaq Glizzy, to come up here. Yeah, I told him. He was like, nah, 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 nah. I was like, I said, nah, I'm telling tax. I'm telling tax. Mm-hmm. I've been told niggas He's I wanted him right up now. here. So and then that niggas is trying to kill him for getting robbed. I'm like, nigga, any nigga could get robbed. This is my homie. I bought him to Philly. his chain? Yeah, I was like, any nigga could get robbed. Yeah. Like, Listen, before he blew up, you know, he was running with me. Mm-hmm. I had money. I mean, oh, where? Yeah, I, that's, why I was my, that's my man. Yeah, I like right. Lizzie. Before he blew up, he threw with me. I had to bring him to Philly like, at least once a week. We got like fucking three, four videos together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we met the MTV and then we cut records together. Um, and it's my fucking man. I really, you know what I mean? Like, because, you know, like, DC, DC is different, too. So he was one of the few rappers that. I, I, like it was just a, it was a I good vibe to work be, with. I knew he was going to be big. It's around time my buzz was higher than his, and that's why like a lot of people honor me. Like my buzz is higher than niggas that was doing songs with him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you know back then, me and Troy was on the same level. I think I think my buzz was like a tad little higher than him back then years ago. And I did songs with Troy. Yeah, now he now he popping. You know what I'm saying? It's like Glizzy. Where he popping? Glizzy popping. Tax. <laughs> tax. I was over here. Ca- tax. I did Where? a seven. I did a seven second countdown. You got to two. No, I didn't know. I said seven, I six, know, five, four, know. three. Maybe he knew you somebody. Maybe he knew to one. I was like, I said, Jesus. Maybe he had some intel. I said, yeah, I said maybe today. All I said, you know, it's almost a new month. That's Manola Rose record. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, Shout I out mean, to Manola Rose. I don't know what to say. Man. I hit him, so when he, I, love, I let you know. This is my new shit. Yeah, but um, <laughs> <laughs> the dumb smile. Yeah. I can't, I can't take you. White Shot, people tell me you should smile Shot, more. I'll be like, Shot, Troy Ab, I've been doing shit with him before they even got popping. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I heard some shit. I heard some shit that you deal with him before. I heard some shit that you yeah, deal with nah, him. Nah, nah. I know you work with me. That's my best. That's that's a good. Man. Troy Ab a good nigga, man. I knew because of his tone yeah. he was going to do good. Because, like, you know, especially because, you, like, like you said, your voice, you know, is your talent. Yeah, when you have a different kind of tone, fucking like. Shot, fucking shot Glizzy's voice. I'm like, this nigga sound like Easy e mixed with Boosie. <laughs> <laughs> I said, he going to be, I said, he going to be a He going to pill to the young guys, man. Mm-hmm. And, you know. Yeah, I like really shot. Cool. I didn't like the way he did call shot from prison all the times, man. That was my, that was, that was my, I ain't talked to him, like, in a year, though. Yeah, well, I'm happy, like, DC, you know, him and, him and, um, Fat Glizzy. Yeah, yeah. You know, they just ended their beef. They took pictures. I was like, thank yeah, God. I, I, I like Fat. I like So Fat somehow the city is slowly coming back right. together. Because DC is just, DC's just as bad as Philly. It's, yeah, it's, 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 listen, I grew up in all that Especially in the little cities. You know, I know it's New York crazy. is the same. But, but I got to say gotta, this. Say I don't want to say it, but I got to say together. this. Please, come on, talk to it. Went down there before, man. I went to like a cookout. In DC? In the projects and shit. Oh, Okay. Man, like, and I'm not homophobic or nothing, but it's a lot of homosexuals down there. I mean, D.C., let me tell you. I mean, well, I, yeah, it is. And I went to art school, so it's, let me tell you. And it's like, listen. They will come we to in the projects, up. listen. <laughs> it is, yeah. I, mean, I said this shit about eight years. Listen, listen, listen. I, listen, I, listen, I, I, don't know I love them now, text. listen. I live for the kids. I'm, I'm a, a girl, It's though. the project. I don't care. Gay niggas I mad cool. For, I tell you, they brought all the drugs in jail. These motherfuckers, listen. They do bring all the drugs in jail. Listen, these motherfuckers just walking up and just chilling around. I'm like, is I mean, it common? It's fucking? super common. Yeah, yeah you know, it's it, super common. Yeah. Like when I was in high school in DC, mm-hmm. guys would come to school, you know, straight dressed in outfits and be like, oh, you know, my dick is downstairs. And I'd be like, oh, but I went to art high school, so maybe yeah, that's it's a little what I don't different. Be wanting to hear. That right there, just, <laughs> that in my right. day and night. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm cool with gay niggas. Gay niggas is cool to me. And them niggas is funny as a motherfucker. Super man. funny. They super funny. Anytime yeah. me the gay nigga, they be mad. It's super I'm like, fashionable. A funny I love it. Man. I Shout love out it. Sunny, man, it was sucking dick on Instagram. 
from our hood, you man. You keep bringing him up. It's a bad funny, man, because we never knew he was gay, man. He just popped him sucking dick on Instagram. We like, Stop wow, him. man. Huh? Well, maybe, Damn, maybe he crazy. didn't because he didn't want you to do what you know huh? you kind of doing now. Maybe he didn't want you to know he liked dick, you know? I don't care if he liked dick. <laughs> then like, you know, like, my dick? I don't give a fuck what you like. <laughs> I don't care. That's what I told niggas in the hood. They was like, they, they like, oh, we going to kill you. So what you going to kill that nigga for? He try to suck your dick. Leave that nigga the fuck alone. Nigga, you stayed. He never hung out with us anyway. I'm gonna like, be honest. When guys are scared of gay guys, I think I think they sometimes want to be touched. Too. It's my my my, 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 be touched, my yeah. Like, I want to be touched. Hey, hey, yes, my, they want to be touched. I, I think they might not let you know that. You know, you know what it is. It's a, but when you really scared, it's exactly. a mental thing. It's yeah. a mental my thing. They scared they get touched. They be like, I like it. Right. I mind my fucking business, man. Exactly. There you go. That shit don't got to do with me and my kids. How we eating? Give a fuck what you already. You could be over there having sex with a fucking, right, a giraffe, uh, a fucking mm. kangaroo. I don't give a fuck what you doing. <laughs> the only right. time I was scarred was at Myra Phil House when this nigga started fucking a motherfucker right in the shower Ooh. while we was in. I'm talking about gangsters, Ooh. official goons in the shower. They did not give a fuck. What? I looked around at who I was with, like. So no no no, I, I have to ask the question. Did he was he taking it or was it consensual? It was consensual. Man, that shit don't be. Mm. My fuckers don't be taking that shit. I keep that. telling people that I'm like niggas don't get raped. No. Niggas be with it. Niggas ain't getting raped. Nigga, tell you got raped. You motherfucker lie. That shit once every other year or some shit like that. <laughs> and they'll be on tip like, like, once every other year. And they'll be on tip like, a nigga carrying himself the wrong way, man. You get up under them old heads, man, think he a, he a OG. And most of the time, he's trying to finesse you, man. So he's trying to be a daddy. They get the young niggas. So the they get the young niggas, niggas when they come in. They're trying to be daddy in jail. They be, they be like, oh, you just can't. Because they, they misguided. Yeah, food. exactly. Yeah, he's <laughs> wheeling them in. Did that to a little you young nigga from the like... bill. Young nigga cooked him. Y'all love that little nigga, man. I forgot his fucking name, man. Oh, shit. I want to shout you out, man. He cooked him. I was so happy. You can't, like... I wanted to cry. I was so happy. I was like, it's that... some It's some honorable old heads, man. They got mm-hmm. 30 years in it. They record clean. They ain't fucking right. around none of that shit. And you got some old heads, man. He's like, man, this nigga used to be a J. But you lose all that when you start getting into that. I'm going to fuck what you do in the street. <laughs> if you rat... You get into that, mm-hmm. you lose your you lose your past, man. Mm-hmm. And I mind my business, but I can't look at you. Oh, I can't look at you in that yes. in that type of level. Consensual, B. I keep telling you. I can't people. look at you. No, I'm, not, I'm not mad at man on man level. sex. I just soon as Spanish niggas get in jail, they start washing each other back. No, I don't mean exactly. Be... I'm like, I don't, yo, I'm not mad at fuck man on man. Fuck lotion on your back. No, floor. no, no. His thing is, I'm not making fun of man on man sex. I just think that's a lot to see someone fucking in front of you. Like, oh man, like, I'm totally yeah. okay with gay guys. <laughs> fuck all that, but like, but I'm a it's girl. to the point. Like that shit. Yeah. That shit ain't no gay. Man. I'm cool with bad gay niggas. Man, the motherfuckers get me shit right now. Nigga, I'm gonna meet you up should. with three gay niggas in the fucking morning. That motherfucker, <laughs> that motherfucker be running eight thirty. <laughs> And, 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 and you know how to get all this shit in because the guards really be faggots too. Yo, I keep mm. telling you, motherfucker. That's oh, how I knew. Yeah, that's how I found out my man was gay up Weird. north right now. I had to make sense of it. The nigga been in the same jail for five years and ain't go nowhere. He's comfortable. That's like impossible in New York yeah. State. You always get moved around. You're going to get on a draft, something out of nowhere. They're going to move you. Uh-huh. He's been there for five years. So he wrote a girl from my hood and the girl brother knew who the nigga was, see the picture and was mm-hmm. like, yo, this nigga's a, I just left him in the bird. I'm like, so when he said it, I put it together so fast. I was like, yeah, he's right. That's what's going on. Cause he probably fucked with one of the guards. Cause yeah. that's how it is an Attica. Same yeah. shit. Motherfucker so about, sitting so- in Attica for seven, eight years. Niggas had me. Just kept me an egg. Just kept me an egg. Just kept you, right? <laughs> it's kept you. Yeah. I it's mean, you the thing is, what's that? People have knees, that. but people have knees. I mean, you I know, call them ready music. music. I go, I got old head. <laughs> they just oh, kept you an attic. They just kept twenty six years in prison, stand up guy, yeah. record clean, no blemish on his record. Beat guards up, stab guards, whatever you want. He's oh, shit. he an honorable black. He like one of them dudes, like black and proud. Read all those African books yeah. and all that shit. Black radical. And they can listen. And they got like a he, table. He, he honorable. Oh, oh, but he listen. beat my ass. He, 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 he beating the bitches, but he honorable? Oh, I say beating the bitches. I say guard. Oh, guard. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Okay. So listen, <laughs> like, they go at the table, and every time the block out, they come out with their books, like six, seven of them, they set the tables, and they read their African shit, talk about Maya Angelou and all that, and Harriet Tubman. I sell them the motherfuckers. They good people. Now you got them niggas that slip off. They could be good for 20 years in that one year. <laughs> you see where everybody at when they bring one of the motherfuckers to the block, man. Every time Jedi I've been at, so one of them fucking fruity, like real, you know what I mean? Motherfucking mm-hmm. on the block. Man, you see niggas, man, to take their koofies off and everything, man. 
Damn. Stop being uh, denounced their religion and all that. He be like, hey, Sadie, I'm back. <laughs> I, I know. Forget some motherfucker uh, is a nigga. He was a nigga, of course. But, you know, sometimes you they get like civilians to come through the jail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we looks down. We looking down off the company. I'm on like eight company. I look down. I'm like, oh, shit. So niggas is like screaming down. It's mm-hmm. a it's a fucking it's a nigga. You know what I mean? But yeah. he like, you know, you wear state greens, but his yeah. greens is so bleached. They look yeah. like jeans. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you think it's jeans. Little story shows a dude. And I seen that transformation, like, in front of my eyes. I seen niggas stop hanging with their crew. Yeah, I seen niggas exactly. start falling back from the yard. Because yeah. this nigga's the porter. Yeah. So they want the nigga to come to their cell when he yeah. doing the water and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, this lady's nigga think he's slick. Man, listen. Well, I don't want to go to the yard no more. Is, a, is, a, is my name right? Is a, is, a, is, a, is a gay guy, like, two blocks down from me. Grew up. I knew his mom's mom smoked crack. Mm-hmm. I used to serve his mom. So I knew I used to bring him when he was a kid. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't like serving her, but fuck it, somebody gonna serve her. So I'm giving her, I'm giving her the crack. You know, it's back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And I knew Deuce since he was like a kid. You know what I'm saying? Man, that motherfucker pop on the block in prison, man. Man, you seen dudes that was real religious, man. I'm talking about when he came on the block up there, man. Damn, there all the motherfuckers, man, went crazy over this motherfucker, stabbed each other with this nigga and everything, man. That's crazy. Man, really? Muslim, bro. You know, it's like a, that's just like a death sentence in our religion, man. He was yeah. popping. Now, you know, I don't believe in none of that shit because I've been in prison with Muslims and I had a Muslim that was wilding in the jail, like writing a petition, getting a petition ran because he was like, they're playing Cinemax and Showtime in the jail and the brothers are watching Zane Sex Chronicles. Oh, who cares? Uh, is that during Ramadan. It's it's like, this is the channel. head of security exactly. Muslim nigga yeah. going exactly. in trying to get the shit took away. I'm like, nigga, you bugging. How you look yeah. at my entertainment, right? right. Nigga, needed that. <laughs> exactly. All I had was butt men. Right. So, so, so I'm get people like, turn the channel then. They don't got, you can't just take out the TV because people watch that. Right. But the same the nigga you ain't I'm talking about the TV anyway. was coming to me like your tax. Hey, tax. Your nephew. <laughs> you know when they hit you with nephew what they want. I was like, what's up, my nigga? He's like, you got some bud? I was like, yeah, I got some bud, son. It's Ramadan. You know you ain't supposed to be smoking, my nigga. I gave him some bud. He came out an hour later. Nigga wanted two Snickers, though. I gave him two Snickers, right? You know he came for next, right? That, that check- dope. He yeah. wanted some dope, nigga. Yeah. That nigga wanted some heroin, nigga. They're in Ramadan, but he going to tell niggas mm-hmm. to fucking take Cinemax and Showtime right. on wow. the television. Listen, but like, you know. Shout out to the G's and about, Dan Amaro. One thing about Islam, though, people hold us to so high of a stand, especially in Philly. It's like, are you got to be that's not Muslim. If we do one wrong thing, see, see, he broke his fast, he ate. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm like, listen, man, why I hold, why we, people going to make mistakes, and then this, I'll just like nobody yeah, you're religion. right, you're 100% right, now you got a Christian that. who pulled the fast and not fornicate and all that. When he do it, it's not a big deal. He jerking mm-hmm. off on the phone. <laughs> Talking yeah, to his yeah. wife. If a Muslim do it, it's yeah. like, huh, look, look, mm-hmm. he's doing it. The big, they make a big spectacle of it. You're right. I'll be saying the same I, I'm, shit. I'm not right. saying Christianity. I, I judge like Any that. other religion do it, and they got the same rules we got. You got to yeah. fast. You can't fornicate. You can't do this. You can't do, take drugs. You can't do none of that. But guess what? When they do it, it's like, ain't a big deal. Mm-hmm. But Muslim do it, Philly. Cause they think we, they think we holy, they think we think we holier than now. Okay, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, no, see, I know most of brother that, no, he, he, you went gay. It's like, man, it's all them. You can't like, yeah, yeah, yeah gay is not a sin. That's so I hate when people say something like that. How you feel about um, Donald religion, Trump? Though, right, it's a sin. Uh, um, man, I, why is he still in this shit? I'm trying to figure out. Like, you saw what he uh, said yesterday. You saw what he said yesterday. He said about women, right? Why is Claire? You know what he said, right? He's just saying what like, everybody else is basically. Why is Claire now? No, he said that we can't have abortions. He said women can't have abortions, and if you do, you should be um. Yeah, yeah he's trying to take it back because he said that shit before. This my John. I remember when he first said that. This my John, though. It's like, how is he winning them stations? Like, y'all know he's a clear racist. No, how you think he winning? Yeah, exactly. Because the motherfuckers is racist, too. Oh, exactly. That's, that's why he winning. Exactly. That's exactly. showing us he's, what the yeah. country is. Exactly. That's why I be telling him all he's, the he's, white jokes he's, lately. He's, white he's bringing, he's white bringing to light the racism. People, white people and they can agree the, with that shit. Biggest, white people hold the biggest population in America. Mm-hmm. It's mostly majority white. Fact. We're talking about then, you can put all the races together. There's going to be more white people than, than, than them. You know yep. what I'm saying? Us, you know what I'm saying? 
they the, they, 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 they the majority. But Rock shit was too black, man. It was too black for them, man. They the majority. Too black, so man. He knew who Kendrick was. <laughs> this nigga nut, but let's, even he if was you white. He was the culture president. Even if you white. Too black, man. Why would you he vote for a racist? He is a nigga in the, in the white Unless you racist. Well, that's what it is. He talking crazy. He not finessing this shit or nothing. He doesn't uh-uh. care. He's a spectacle. He's These a These motherfuckers was taught to hate black people. Yeah, now they smoke like... now when the Star Spangled Banner come There's on. No they see the pride. They got to salute. Gonna gonna that should probably hurt their arm yeah, doing exactly. that shit. Saluting a black president. You know what I mean? Exactly. I understand. I ain't even mad. I like open racists. Please be open racist with me. Don't be a sneaky racist. No, I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, wait, well, you saw I called you and told you what happened with me. With yeah. the racist shit. Yep. <laughs> Sophie was about to go to jail. Yeah, Sophie had to put her hands on somebody on Park Avenue what last happened? week. I was driving down Sophie Park. Looks so good, she just uh, she just want to fight people. No, it's not like that. I was driving down Park Avenue. She wanted and... to get pregnant, y'all. Look. No, no, no. And it, look, I was like, no, not no, no, not before I get married. And it was traffic, and this Asian girl took her back of her fist and hit my window of my car. And I looked at her, and then she did it again, and she thought that it was going to slide. So I pulled my car over. I didn't even park, and I hopped out the car, mm-hmm. and I went after her. I don't want to say everything I did. But anyway, yes. the, this white guy, he sees uh-uh. this white guy sees this shit, and he was like, oh, I'm going to take your photo. I saw what you did to her. He takes photo. So he, he wants to go take a photo of me in my car, and I go in my car to get whatever out the car. And then as, as I'm about to go after with the car, out yeah, the oh, car. Whatever? Just, hey, text, you one of us? No, no. So, turn so, me on. Hey, hey, text. <laughs> No, no, but listen, so then she I go on my car. Me. So listen, this black, this, this black shit. sibling, it was his sister and that her brother. That was sexy as a motherfucker. They saw, they saw the white guy, he came over and kicked my car, because he, he, he was like, I'm taking it for yeah. her. And I said, that's white privilege. She put her hands in my car. If she breaks my window, I have to pay for it. And yeah. I said, you a bitch. I said, you a punk bitch for that shit. You come after a woman, I said, you a fucking bitch. He's so a he, bitch nigga. And after that, you know, the, the guy, the black guy and the black sister, they came to my help. It was some people in the corner. They were, and police came, and they were like, "No, she didn't do anything wrong." Yeah. Like he he literally jumped to her case, and, and I was like, "If I was a white girl, you police would have stayed over here. If if I was a white girl, I'm like that white guy. He wouldn't he wouldn't have jumped to he wouldn't have jumped to that Asian girl's defense. But because I was black and I was on Park Avenue, you want to come over here and try and try me? I was like, that's why I put my hands on that bitch. Hmm. Sorry. You should have shot her a couple times. No, I didn't have a gun in my car. Nah. No, I wouldn't say that. No, we're not trying to. But I, I was mean, trying you know, to get it. I was I always trying to figure out. Sure I, I'm always making sure I have something. No, 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 not a gun, but uh-huh. you know. I, you know, I, I, I was, you I was had a dead. peacemaker. Mm-hmm. I had a peacemaker. I, I like that peacemaker. word. I had a peacemaker. I had a peacemaker yeah, in my yeah. purse, peacemaker in my car. One well, thing about this shit out here, man, nobody don't want to be. <laughs> You gotta be a crazy dude. Just you just want to be violent. No, exactly. Like, like, like to, oh, to come everything, after me. Everything I do <laughs> is a defense. It's, for, it's an offensive it's defense. I heard Fifty Cent say this man one time. It was one of his interviews. He said, "If you see me with bodyguards, it's not to protect me from them. It's to protect them from me." Right. And that's how I feel. It's like I've been to jail for shootings with an ass. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. I keep certain niggas around me. Just so you won't be stupid. Mm-hmm. You see me with 15, 20 motherfuckers. Think again. Think it's, twice. It's for, D, it's for security, too. And it's many for hopes you don't try me for my watch, nigga. I'm going to kill him. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it ain't going to go no other way but me putting a bullet in you. Mm-hmm. So I got to, like, intimidate you with these people. Because if it's three of y'all and it's me and one nigga, y'all might feel like, man, I'm about to kill this nigga. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Guess why I'm in jail for prison? Where I could have had this license? Where I could have had this license to carry, nigga? Situate the shit. It would have been cool. Or intimidate you with these 20 killers I got with me. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I carry that myself. Now, I, I want a do. license to carry, nigga. I'm at that point. I got a couple checks yeah. coming. I don't even want to tell you how much I make a month right now. I'm surprised. Ooh. But um, we gonna even cut that out the podcast because y'all niggas gonna try to rob me now. I'm gonna be back in jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying though, Jack, though. <laughs> nigga, try to get me for my watch. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Ted, you know how this, Ted. You go to a club. Niggas be too like aggressive. Hey, yo, aunt, man, I fuck with you, man. You're a real nigga. We got my gun on me right now. And that's how they catch me. Yeah, real <laughs> shit. And they like you. So I'm like, just... Jess, that's what's up. What? So my whole joint is like, I don't want this boy to uh-huh. do nothing stupid because. My, my 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 brother gonna get life and blow the shit off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The people around me, I love them. I love my niggas. I don't have throwaway niggas. And these niggas is gonna like, they're gonna say, all right, I got a phone call about the one of these rap niggas. Like, I don't wanna say his name. I had a little issue with, right? I had a phone call. He's me like, he right there, right now. His car out there, out in his car, in front of the joint. So I'm like, he like, I'm on my way down there. I'm like, no, man, like, you got, just chill out. I'm, I'm going to take care of this shit. Like, you got your kids, you know what I'm saying? You got your wife, you got a family, man. You, I mean, you got to, you're working on that shit now. 
I don't want to jeopardize. She's like, man, fuck all that. It's about principle, man. You my brother. They, they, they disrespected you. It's about principle. Hey, I'm going to get them. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, I can't talk this nigga out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't talk him out of this shit. I'm more worried about his family and kids more than he is. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It be like that. That's, how we that's why that's I don't even want tough it. niggas around I'm ta- me. I'm, I'm, like, I'm talk- good. No, listen. This is no text. <laughs> he, not a, he like, listen, he coached football teams. He got a security job. But he just one of the niggas that lucked up. He was running around out here with me, tearing shit apart. Mm-hmm. He never got locked up for two gun cases his whole life, and he beat him. So he go get his license to carry. You know what I'm saying? This is a nigga that's known for busting niggas' ass. Yeah. No more. Mm-hmm. He known for wrecking. Mm-hmm. We know. <laughs> so this motherfucker, man. So now he got, they got my license to carry. This is a nigga who know. Like, he got an FN7 on it, FN57 on it. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Another joint, and this is how he carrying it. It was like, oh, he happy as shit. He like, please do something. Somebody do something retarded. Mm-hmm. But he on the tip like, hey, they down there. I'm ready to go get him, man. I'm trying to talk him out of it. Like, it's personal. Man. See, that's what a lot of motherfuckers don't know. This OBH thing is bigger than the six rappers you see me with. Yeah. This shit ain't start from rap. This shit start from the ground. This is start from the trap house. Start from the mud. Um, I, all, every numbers I put up, OBH, 15, 14. That was, that was the address to my crack house, man. Mm. Third, I said, I always scream. My, <laughs> my Instagram at, 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 at AR underscore AB underscore 32. That nigga don't even know his Twitter name. Trey though. Deuce, 32. <laughs> That's a 3,200 of the block I made all my money on. You know what I'm saying? So this is my shit. You feel what I'm saying? I try to talk my niggas out of this shit. I don't want my niggas in jail. You know how bad it hurt me? My brother got sitting in six years. He went to jail when he was like 17. You feel what I'm saying? I shed a tear about that shit. That's my brother. Of course, brother, your baby. Mm-hmm. And I felt like, man, no, I felt, I felt like shit because I'm glorifying this shit to him. He a young nigga. I'm, a, I come, he, I'm coming to the crib. He hearing about me shooting at this nigga. I shot this nigga. He my name ringing. He just like excited. Yeah, yup. He started doing this shit, but took it to a whole nother level. He went to a juvenile joint. He was 16. Stayed there for two years. Every home pass, he coming home. I'm passing him off bank rolls. Taking him shopping shit. Every single home pass once a month. You feel what I'm saying? This motherfucker on Meek track, I called my little brother. He hit both witness. Then I got to credit, man. Meek did going, going wow. That shit, true story, man. My brother did it all that time because of me, man. Because of my phone call, man. Mm. My young boy got life in prison because of my phone call, man. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That shit hurt me. Mm-hmm. So now my niggas, be, they, they be thinking like, hey, man, you get too So I let a lot of shit slide now. I could have been got. These niggas killed, man. Mm-hmm. I could got <clears> these <throat> niggas killed. You know my joint is? I don't have no throwaway nigga. I love y'all, man. Yeah. I'm not going to send nobody to do nothing that I wouldn't do that myself. You do yourself. Right, right. No, I feel like I'm just throwing you away in the fire. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm throwing you away. I'm not throwing you away, man. Some of my mans really don't know why I keep them away. And it'd be mm-hmm. like, my nigga, I'm doing it for, for you. you. Yeah. Exactly. It ain't even, it's for you, my nigga. Like, I don't sure. want you amongst this and then it go yeah. wrong, man. Like, yeah, I don't want you to kill them. I know what's going to happen. Son, I got niggas on the internet happen, you with, boom, fucking, boom, 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 boom. with two followers and the, they <laughs> spam. And all they do is watch people that threaten me online. That's mm-hmm. it. Like, they doing updates. I, people mm-hmm. be threatening me. I don't even know. Because I probably done blocked them already. They be like, yo, who's this page right here that just said? And I'm like, my nigga, son, don't uh-huh. worry about it, my nigga. Because I know this dudes, these dudes got families, and they'll come out, and mm-hmm. then they'll dress exactly. like a bitch and walk up on you now, and, and, and wear fully, everything. <laughs> you know, fully, all right. This is what happened to Philly one day. And it's just happened a lot. The guys are dressed in Muslim garbs, Muslim women garbs. Mm-hmm. Only the eyes showing. And they got some joints where they come to her face, but you can see through it like a... Right, like sheer, a yeah. Yeah. Sheer, yeah, sheer veil. Now, now listen, walking down on shit, walk right up on you and blow your shit right off. Because mm-hmm. it's common to see Muslim women. And the, 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 wow. the love of respect crazy. for Muslims in Philly is to the almost, we, we the majority. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, we the majority, and it's like the sisters, is like, they get honored. They come in the store, nobody bet not disrespect them. That's how we carry about our mm-hmm. my brothers and sisters. Our brother's blood is more sacred than the Kaaba. The Kaaba is the thing at that big square joint in Mexico. It's a house. But long story short, mm-hmm. niggas is ready to fucking throw their life away from me. 
that shit, I'm not used to that. Like, I'm used to that from the streets, but I, I'm, I'll be thinking, like, man, like, I got to really win, man. Mm -hmm. I got yeah. niggas outside. My Bottom man, line. My mm -hmm. man caught the bus out here and I said, y'all ready to go to this club. I'm catching the bus right now. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like, he just ready to throw his fucking, he, got, he just got his daughter only one to turn one, but he ready to throw his whole life away. Life away. Because yeah. on, my, on my car. Yeah. If a nigga say something to me, he jumping out the fucking window, man. You know what I mean? And my little brother did nine years in prison because of me. My young boys got life. One of my young boys that got life, my rap partner, he caught his first shoot when he was 14. Mm. And guess who was Leslie passing the gun? And I did a lot of nuts. I'm thinking like, right now I'm older, so I'm thinking like, man, my young boy got life, man. Over a fucking a, a little kid fight. He come to my trap house. I'm in my trap house chilling. He like, yo, ad man. I think they brought an old head. Old head man said he going to do this in the third to me, man. I need a pistol. He's 14, both of them. I'm so dumb and retarded. Here. Go around him. What they ass? What the nigga ass? This is in front of a schoolyard. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He ended up just doing four years. He was a kid. Mm. Came on, he's 18. Nigga ain't checking. Nigga ain't dying nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He come on when he's 18, you know what I'm saying? God damn. So it's like, boom. It's like, boom. <clears throat> I, I feel responsible for that. My young boy snub, my rap partner got life in prison, man. I feel responsible. He probably did it anyway, because they shot my man 12 times, blew his eyeball out and all that. Mm. Mm. My young boy crawled into the car. Nigga stuck the gun in the car. Mm. Tore him up. Went to the crib, put another clip in. Man, came back out and gave him some more. You feel what I'm saying? It's crazy. So like, I'm crying. Like, I do my young boy like that, because I ain't out there. My young boy probably at the time was 17, man. I ain't out there. Mm -hmm. It hurt me, man. Of course it, of course yeah. it. You know, so, so, so my young boy, man, I'm watching news every day. I don't see nothing, man. I don't see nothing, man. He, he on phone crying to me, man. I got him, man. I got him. Come get him. Hurt me, man. My young boy got life in prison. Man, I can't do nothing about this shit. They all, when, I, when my brother got sentenced this time, he, hey, where we going? He's my, he, Brothers, are, is, is, he like the most fair nigga in my neighborhood. But he only like 17. You know what I'm saying? And he looked at me for something. Like, I'm the dude who always solve all the problems. I can't solve this problem, man. It's hard. It's hard. You man. lost your case in trial, man. Mm -hmm. You it's lost hard. the shooting, man. Your rabbi won it. You know how bad that hurt him? That's rabbi won it. I lost. I'm saying he won the rabbi in jail. It's co defendant. Rabbi's co defendant. Your co defendant won a case. That shit was over him. And he lost the job. Mm -hmm. It killed me. It killed my heart, man. That's it. I was like, man, I can't send niggas on missions no more, man. I got to, if I ain't going to do it myself, it ain't going to get done. Because it's like, I don't want you to leave, man. If it's that serious, I got to do it. Why you got to leave your family, man? Mm -hmm. what, what makes me better than you? I'm not better than you, man, my, my squad. I'm not. The, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm like the, I'm the president. You got the president, and I said you got the Congress. Presidents can't make a law. You gotta go through the Congress. You feel what I'm saying? The chain of command. You know what I mean? It's like the it's like the commission. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Lucky with just bare head. That's all I am. It's niggas in my it's niggas in my clique that can fight better than me. That got more wreck than me. You know what I'm saying? Got more money than me. You feel what I'm saying? But I guess what? I'm just the the, the nigga in the front. Cause I'm in the spotlight. Yeah. But it's niggas in my clique that Hey, them. Mm -hmm. My brother is him. My little brother is a monster, man. Yeah. That nigga crazy. That's all he do is wreck and get money. And he'll, his fight game, one of the best I've seen. Put his hands on you, beat the blood out of you, man. Mm -hmm. This is my blood brother. First thing, grew up in the same crib. Same mom, same dad. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's my blood, man. And that's how it is, my nigga. That's why you, that's exactly why. When you when you got a voice, my nigga, nigga, you gotta speak to motherfuckers. I gotta get us out of here, man. If I can't niggas don't, to. if niggas don't, if motherfuck, if they don't, if they don't, if they don't hear it from somebody that they know, they look at in a certain manner. You I'm understand? Gonna I'm, gonna I'm, gonna I'm gonna sit them down. I'm gonna sit down again when I go back because this is my whole zone. Like I seen what y'all haven't seen. Not my my brother Namari did it, mm -hmm. but I seen what the young guys haven't seen. Man, it's niggas, it's niggas in jail, man. Wishing they would have waited an extra two weeks before they did what they did. Of course. 
Wish they had the patience to wait That's a month a fact, or two. Man. But you want to know something? It's your pride attacking you. You think of everybody looking at you like you're you pride in your ego. You don't want to got situated. You don't want to got beat up or shot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you wish like man, wish I would have made it to my. Wish I waited a month or two. You know what I mean? I would have been home. I caught a, the reason why I, dr- I, I, I I'm in Uber so much, right? Is I was in front of spot and a nigga was trying to like break into my truck from far, right? He was breaking in like the alarm went off. You know how you could see on the yeah. alarm where it hit, like it hit the window. So I'm looking. I'm like, what the fuck? So I I could see from far. So I see somebody moving. So I runs up or whatever, and I'm like, yo. So as soon as I run down on him, police pulls up like at yeah. the same exact time, and they like they like yo what they. they they looking at us. They like four deep. And I said, yo, what the fuck you doing? So the nigga was like this. He seen the cops. And he was like, oh, this your car, my nigga? And I'm like, yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah I fuck you, nigga. Like, oh, some what? brave shit. Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, Wait a what minute. the fuck, nigga? Like, I'm confused. But I exactly. see the cops there. So I know I can't bust a move on him, right? I know I can't bust a move on a nigga. Because uh-huh. I see the shit. Next thing I fucking know. Next thing I fucking know. I fucking follows the nigga. He gets in the car in front of me and circles the block. So I follows him. I'm going to shoot the nigga. I got my gun in the car. Mm -hmm. I'm about to roll up and shoot the nigga. Police pulls us over. Police Mm -hmm. pulls us over. And it's a checkpoint. Like, at the exact same spot where we just was at, it's Mm -hmm. a checkpoint out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Like, and they stopped me. And I had DUI. And I was in the car with people. Mm -hmm. So they locked me up just for the DUI. And Mm -hmm. my man was able to ride away with the gun. The moral of the story is to this day, anytime I think about that mm-hmm. story, it was like, yo, my nigga, I was going to go to jail regardless. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I was going to shoot this nigga, but I was going to jail for shooting that nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was yeah. too bold. And that shit was just a blessing and me getting scooped up right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right then and there for real. We made it out this motherfucker, Tabby. It's, it's, it's a blessing that we're still alive, man. Mm-hmm. We could be dead, man, or in prison for life, man. Real shit. I done did shit, man, broad daylight, man. Because... I never knew the consequences to what, what I said I was doing. I never got ratted on clearly until later. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was like, I was getting away with so much shit. He was just like, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing right. it. One I'm, time, I'm out one you. time a nigga in the crack game. All right. Most of my walls was with niggas from a block or two down. You know how this in the hood. Mm-hmm. I got the most, my, my trap house, allegedly the most popular trap house in the hood. They keep trying to infiltrate it. Niggas, my, my, my brother got his own set. I'm Allegheny area. It's like four blocks up. So then my brother friends, but he, he he locked up and shit. So these motherfuckers keep doing it. So my, my you know my cousin, not the crazy one. He slept on. Him. What's going on? No, ain't going on. They come back, still trying to cut cut our dick in this crap house. Mm-hmm. So my I'm gonna put a gun on him. Man, the fuck out of here, man. So he come back with two little niggas that stay shoot. They now they my age. They come back. My young boy walk out the door. My young boy only 16 at the time. They rip on him. Boom, 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 hit him in his leg. You know what's on now. This is my brother's right-hand man, though. You know what I'm saying? So I said, it's on. We start hunting niggas down and all that shit, man. Hunting niggas down doing all this shit. <laughs> but long story short, though. Long story short. Well, niggas I kept getting their flashbacks. Listen, listen. No, listen, listen. You can see it. You talking about the right? Yeah. Long, story, long story short, though, is like, the more the, the more story is, if the nigga they used to drive these bulls around, I know he a pussy. I know they like, man, drive us up here, man. And he's scared. He drive around every day. When we shooting that, I just shot, we shot his car a hundred times. But listen, I catch his one day. I'm in the spirit. He just rolls on it. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? Do he know I'm gonna knock his head off? Why is he walking in here on fucking willy nilly and shit? You know what I mean? So I'm just watching him. He peep the vibe and he rolled. I'm actually niggas like, yo, what's up with him? Do we think it ain't gonna do him? And I know you're pushing, getting forced to do this shit. That's why I give you that much rope. I'm like, man, tell him don't come around me, man. I'm on my way up, uptown to my folks block. I'm ready to rob the whole block. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was up on my way up there to go rob the whole block. In the crap game or two, if I can. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, rob, I see this nigga on the <laughs> dice. I see this nigga on the dice. Bad. Shooting dice against the wall. I said, that's the ball right there. That drives him around. So I'm watching him. He look at me, people. He a little nervous. He like, man, I ain't, he think that. It's dumb. You drive him, though. Long story short, I go up there. Took a couple crap games down, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my way back down. I see he's jumping his car now. I spin a block. It's an it's a, it's a opening. So I pause, he stopped. We both stopped. I'm like, what? Uh-uh. You go ahead. 
We're doing it for like two, three minutes. I'm like, man, go ahead, man. He's like, no, you go ahead. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So I pull off. They come behind it. Pull to the side. Retarded. He pull up like he ready to go past me. Man, my cousin fighting over the gun. We only got one gun in the car. I don't want to do the shooting. He won. He like, mm-hmm. give it to me. You drive it. You know, he set the top of the car door. <laughs> Yo, he just window rolls Chris down. Brown move. Chris yeah. Brown move. Chris Brown with the damn move. Bop, 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 bop. We tore his jaw up. Guess what happened, though? Baby in the car. Oh, wow. Oh, Nobody fuck. got hurt, though. Nobody got not hurt. Nobody mm-hmm. got hurt, though. So that's all I can talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And he, no, so, I mean, you know, me, cool dude. Nobody never got hurt, though. I don't know his baby in the car. Why are you taking it to a crack game? It's the same car that niggas coming to get me in. Mm-hmm. Why are you driving around with this motherfucking, why are you driving around the baby in yeah, that, that car? Yeah, yeah, come on exactly. now, bro. You can right. tell you don't know war protocol, man. You feel what I'm saying? So long story short, the whole hood mad at me, man. Man, his daughter was in a car. Watch Fuck wrong with you, Ab. <laughs> you did why your daughter in a car. Yeah, Listen, you know. one of my bitches bust, at the time, bust my, my van window out. So everybody thinking I, I did it on purpose to shoot out the van. Mm-hmm. It, it's all, you know how you start doing shit, a whole lot of stories about you. Like, they I had the windows bust out, took out so he could shoot and all that other shit. But long story short, though, my thing is like, why are you? Why do you got your daughter in this car? Mm-hmm. You know, it. this is the oh, van. There's a lot of with. niggas out here like that, dumb and walking around with their kids, knowing they killing people. She not. People. I know you're not. This whole thing is, I ain't doing nothing. Nigga, yeah. you driving them. Yeah, exactly. You I know you're them, a nigga. pussy, and they force you into do. I know he's a coward, but you driving them though, you're man. Driving them. You feel what I'm saying? So we can't. That's fucking crazy. So long Happy story short, eating. <laughs> long story Let me short, talk to the ladies real cool. fast before we wrap. Everything up. cool now. Good. Hey, I don't got. It's a day. I don't have no beef with nobody. Yes. The street shit I'm talking about was over 10, 10 years ago. Fifteen years ago. ago. No, fifteen years, bro. You right? Fifteen, 15, years, 15 ago. years ago. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like. I was a kid, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, a peaceful guy now. Mm-hmm. No beef. If y'all want that, I have a couple of young guys who, that's what they, that's what they do. They specialize in. Mm-hmm. They specialize special on operations. chasing. <laughs> they specialize on chasing. Special ops. You got to have a, oh, you got to have I a killer. I love the little young shooters as much as I try to speak to you niggas. I love you. You know what I mean? Um, you got to have the killers for the killers, don't you? Yeah. You gotta have the killers for the killer. Yeah, because niggas are killers. Don't tell me you know killer. Niggas be trying to present themselves. I know what y'all be doing. Niggas is, oh, yo, niggas be, oh my God, my I'm gonna put you to this the test. Kid, tell this me that. kid on the internet was talking I crazy got to for me. You right Next now. thing I know, he was writing blood stories on his Instagram about him being a blood hype. I was crying. I was like, oh my God, the nigga's so scared. He wanna tell me he in a gang because he think I'm scared of that. <laughs> Nigga, you need a fucking hug. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, my nigga. You hear me? You better go fucking pray. Mm-hmm. You can't be saved by Jesus of Nazareth once mm-hmm. you start with me, nigga. I ain't never going to stop. I'm going to keep my foot on your neck because that's what I like to do. I make I like to make niggas be all I'm going to tell y'all something. So if you pump faking, you're going to be mad, my nigga. Mm-hmm. And if you if you real, you probably going to be mad too because just like I told you, if a lion fight a lion, so one of us dying. Down. Listen, yes. <laughs> before I leave, listen, this is what I learned in this game, man. At the end of the day, when you're a young bull, Mm -hmm. any age, any age, nobody wants to get hurt. Yeah, I don't. Take that for a advantage. Nobody don't want to get hurt. You know what I'm saying? So you use that. I know he don't want to get I know he's tough and all that. He don't want to get shot. He don't don't want to lose it all. So you put that on the table. You know somebody going to die after this shit. Like me and you, we going to die. They, you know, they, they, they cops out. They don't want no parts of that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no parts of that, man. Well, I learned that in life, man. You know, like, nobody wants to die. And the toughest niggas I met, niggas believe about that shit, they always was the quietest ones. Always. Only reason why I'm loud because I'm an entertainer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know when I was like, yo, I'm, I rap, listen to my rap. Nobody listened when I told them and asked them that way. When I say, nigga, this is what I'm doing. Nigga, dirty. Nigga, fuck y'all. Nigga, I, I, I'll fuck kill everybody, man. That's what they ain't listen, though. Mm-hmm. They ain't listen when I say, yo, I'm hot. Can you hear my rap? They ain't yeah. listen. They ain't listen, Tax. Yeah, you had to involve that. Yeah, I, I got to talk that gangster shit for y'all. Listen. All right, now y'all listening. Mm-hmm. I, I really get rap, though. But y'all won't give me no shot. Mm-hmm. And everybody think I'm crazy. They don't know. I was taking college. I had college classes in the middle school. Mm-hmm. This is on public record. Mm-hmm. I don't take, listen. I went to one of the smartest schools in Philly, man. Me and my brothers and them, we was in. Mentally gifted programs, our whole school career, man. 
Just shows to be retarded, man. You know what it was? It's always, it's always like this, I grew up man. in a real religious household. <laughs> they were so strict, man. I looked up to the motherfuckers that was doing their thing. They got mm-hmm. new clothes. I never had no bitches or nothing until I was turned like 15. Until mm-hmm. I started trapping. You know what I'm saying? My first girl I had sex with. 15. Like, this like, shit was mad it long. It was like It took me 20. 15 years to yeah, get these listen, bitches, nigga. The first girl I ever had sex with. <laughs> The first was was in her thirties, man. I was fifteen, man. Yeah, I, oh, wow. yeah, I believe that so. was my mom friend. Oh shit! <laughs> Legendary. She was way She was like, oh yeah. Gutted her. Got a ball of like, When oh, I say gutted her, I gutted friend. her. <laughs> gutted her. None of this smoke. <laughs> That's crazy. And I got my pick with me. She ain't want none of this but smoke. Initiated. You ever you ever told your mom that story? Well, she just found out just now. She my mom, now. Right? My, mom, my mom passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm mean, sorry, that beloved. My mom passed away, man. In 2012, that was like the. I've been in prison. I faced life. I I was on the stand. I mean, I was in the um, in the courtroom when yeah. the judge was just like, you know, if you lose, you're gonna get life in prison. You sure you want to, you want to fight the case with me head up? I ain't pick. I ain't want no jury. I said, yeah, I want to fight. With, look at my lawyer like, cause you scared to shot me. No, if you lose, you get life. You not never coming home. You sure you want to fight with me? I'm like yo, you can't sit there. Jury, I'm sitting there. I'm fighting with her. Because this is my job. I knew the law. I read my discovery. Y'all said that y'all shot first. I mean, they said that the nigga that told on me was like, yeah, the other guy shot first and, 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 and every turn fire. So I said, that's not no murder. I don't care how you look at it. Mm. You can't charge murder is first degree murder. It's premeditated. It's premeditated. I mean, I it out. Second Degree murder is with, it's, it's murder with the intent. Like I, I had a, my intention was to kill you. Mm-hmm. Third degree is like assault with malice. Like you know what I'm saying? So I knew these don't fit under, under the criteria. First they charged me first degree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They said general murder because they knew if I had a fourth or first degree, I'd have won. That's what a lot of niggas don't know. If I would have fought a first degree, I would have won. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't fight a first degree. They had me a general general homicide. But when the DA came. In the, in the back, in the back, where um, the, the inmates be at, and I was down the court. And the DA said, listen, he told, matter of fact, he told my lawyer, he said, listen, I could, um, let me, allow me to put, it's a way where they're like, it had general murder. But he said, allow me to put the murder one back on the table. You know what I'm saying? My lawyer said, no, but you got to put involuntary. Because I want to fight an involuntary case. Mm-hmm. I ain't want to fight a murder. I want to fight an involuntary manslaughter case. I found guilty on involuntary manslaughter and got 11 and a half to 23 months. 11 and a half months, the half month from a year. He did eight months and was home. Mm. I said, I want to fight them charges. Because they knew I was going to lose the murder one because it wasn't premeditated. But it's not like they're not, it's not like I can beat a murder one and get charged with the murder two. They can charge me again. You know what I'm saying? But they're like, yo. No, if I yeah, beat it, it's double jeopardy. My bad. I apologize. If I if 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 I beat it, it's double jeopardy. That's why they ain't want they ain't want me to fight the murder one. It's like, no, you gonna beat it. I can't charge him again. So they're like, all right, fuck it. Let me put the other shit on the table. You know what I'm saying? I said, well, you got. He said, let me put manslaughter. I said, you got to put involuntary manslaughter there. You know what I'm saying? He said, all right, deal. So I knew if I lost, I knew the jury didn't know the law. You know what I'm saying? The judge in the law. You know if they shoot at me first, it's not no manslaughter. Mm-hmm. That's I, you. You can give me assault. You give me. The, you you give me um third degree murder. You cannot give me a mass. You cannot give me a murder one because it wasn't premeditated. Y'all had it where though you got you got on camera me going in the store, the bull coming out going in his car like he grabbing something. I put him in a four Nelson. You know what I'm saying? I told my young boys, man, pat him down. But I know he had a pistol. He talking shit. It ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Matter of fact. The guy that came to shirt, came with the food. He they, he choked him, choking him. Mm-hmm. I come behind him, put him in the four Nelson. This shit all over Cassidy though. I come behind him, put him in the four Nelson. But that was patting his way cast out there too. You know what I'm saying? We don't see no um, ain't, ain't no pistol. I know he got one. So, I, you know, I let him go. Broke him up. Boom, boom, boom. boom driving, kicking. Ah, to my young boy, fat nigga, sit on him. He got his car keys. I go in his car. I see bullets. I can't find no pistol. I locked the door to gun it. I ain't got no gun. Threw his keys, kicked him a couple more times and rolled out. You know what I'm saying? It caused later on with some gangster shit, man. So I caught the body. I didn't want to, I'm not walking around wanting to kill people. This nigga told me it's on site. Mm-hmm. You know where we're from? That means something. 
Yeah. Where he from, it, 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 it can mean like I'm just talking shit. But I'm going to hold you to that, though. I'm going to hold you so to that. So when I see you, 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 you know I got to turn with a body. <clears throat> it's my job. Don't tell me that. Because I got to go get you. Especially if I know you know where my family live at. We're not, we not going to have this party right here. We're going to have this party up where you at. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to bring no party to my block. No shoot out to my block. Not when I can go to your block. We can have, have it up there. They don't want us to check out. That's a fact. We're not going to do it on my block. There's too many kids on my block. Let's go up his block. I mean, well, I'm just happy to AL Admin stop shooting people, man. I quit. This is too much shootings, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we got in Philly. Let's just stop the violence. New York City, let's stop the violence. Let's man, get Philly, this shit going. Philly, you're horrible, man. Let's get this fucking money. Yo, right. I'm going to come out there. I'm going to have sex with a couple of your Philly chicks. Only for the culture, though. <laughs> Go ahead. Only. They, they, they going to give it to you, too. <laughs> they whores, man. Oh, don't call them. Wait, wait, all of them, not all of them. Wait, yeah, oh, a good you know, you, woman. You know, you got two women here. Which you, you can't, you can't do that. No, they're not all whores. Oh, take, like, take that back. I'm gonna keep it real. It's like <laughs> they fast than the speed and bullet, though. They fast, man. <laughs> yeah, so, I met a, yeah, I met a bar the bitch bullet. from Philly one day, man. Men are too. And it was don't just do double so standards. funny, yeah. man. Right. Thank I was you. sitting with her. She was like talking about all this, like this, like I don't know, man. It all looks like. This illusion of like money that people be seeing. I don't know what the fuck people be seeing, you know, because niggas be like homeless and shit, like good shirts and shit. That's what Can't talking about those um, Instagram posts. So like, that's what talking about meek people though, right? This, this how it is. You got a rapper, right? You got the niggas around. Mm -hmm. They got to travel everywhere you at. So you might, they might, you might not come back to Philly for about two months sometimes. You don't even have your own life established. Yeah. So I did it with Cash. I came straight home from jail and just rolled with Cash. So I, so I got to no, do everything he doing. I have no pistol. I have nothing. Sorry to hear that. So it's like, so like I'm scared. I mean, I'm, I'm on the road like, what the fuck? Man? But he, he, not, he ain't used to this. Like, I'm like, we got to have a gut. You got to have a gut out here, right? Yeah, yeah, niggas in L.A., way. niggas be in them hills too long. So long They're forgetting short. smoke back home, nigga. You better <laughs> long story short, ET on, phone home. Long story short, me on the temple like that. What the fuck is going on, phone man? Phone home, nigga. But when they go back home, guess what? You don't have no car. You don't have no one. Me got locked up. A lot of niggas was down at home. Come on, was like, damn, I don't home. Because you be on the road so much, you ain't, you can't, you ain't got no time. You ain't got no time. You ain't got no time. You ain't got I did it for a year and a half. I know I did. I'm on a roll. That's what happens when you establish somebody else like, and not yourself. Sometimes you gotta like fucking. Sometimes you gotta like be safe though. Just fucking jeopardize everything, man. Like I, man, I, had to, I come home. I, I got fed up being around cats. I'm like, man, I'm not making no money. I don't, I want to bail out on it. Right, exactly. I got a son. And you get an attitude, and I say, well, damn, let me get a couple, couple hundred. I'm about to nah, go home. No, it's not survival. You gotta eat. It's my yeah. journal, Tex. You a real nigga, Tex. Mm -hmm. sure. I can sing. I slept on your couch for the last three days. You want to ask me, do you want to shower? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to get an attitude, like, man. Or, like, it's like, I'm hungry, man. Like, yo, hungry, you done get three cookies? You got to ask my son, son four. Like, you, my, my, not, not, not to get on cash, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all love. You feel what I'm saying? My joint is tax. What type of nigga? Tax, listen, Wait, tax. I'm there like, what? If you see me sleeping on your that. couch, you know I'm like, got no money. I this nigga. If you know I don't got no money, I'm tax. Like, listen, tax, you know I ain't got no money. Yeah. Your, your first instinct is, damn, it's breakfast time. You cool, you want some of your Exactly, exactly. First time. Especially, I want you out here. Not like I'm out here on the table like, I'm mooching. He like, please come out here. You know what I'm saying? Please, because now he walking yeah, around like, now he's me. walking around confident like, yeah, anything going on, no ad. And you know my backing. You know, I got a hundred niggas. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you requested me, so it's like, all right, boom. I think, damn, man, let me get it. I'm, I, you, you be go to hotels, ten girl. I can't talk to no girl, man, cause I stink. I ain't washed up in three days, my feet. <laughs> what? I yeah, yeah, one on. of them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly who my that boots nigga been is. on. I, can't, I don't even want to take my boots off. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. nigga. You know what I'm so it's like, all right, with that boy, I'm kind of like fucked up, man. I'm super fucked up. I mean, I'm kind of fucked up. I'm kind of like fucked up. So hey, don't get you out here like a slave, like, right? What kind of shit is that? So it's like, all right, listen. You that's what I'm so saying. When the, when the entourage shit come, the entourage come is like, that's what the thing come in play. It's like, damn, you ain't like, you ain't. I ain't getting shit. He gave me a couple dollars probably like four times in a year and a half, and it wasn't like thousands, but like three, two, three, four on it. But I got a whole fucking son at home. Yeah. 
Like, I want to buy them shit. Yeah. I got a whole niggas be weak home. niggas, man. Take care. Niggas be, I, I got like niggas like that. I gotta man. turn around and get them. When I get my, when I get my chick face. some money, I gotta turn this way so she don't see the thin ass fucking dog. I got like three hundred dollar bills. I give her a hundred. I like Cassidy rap some this is my ch- I give a hundred. I give my buy my I buy my son some stupid shit. And I got twenty dollars to get back on the bus to get back out of here. Oh so God, he knew how I had it. He knew how to give us just a little bit to keep us keep you coming. Around, exactly. Yeah. But long story short, though, the thing I'm getting at, entourage, they don't make no money. You got to establish yourself. Yeah. You're on the road so long, he making money. You ain't make You ain't that. make shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? See a nigga. That's why I said stop hanging out with niggas at work. Yeah. Stop. Listen, if I'm coming at your man and that's your man, ride. By all means, that's what you should do. But at the same time, if you die in the process, what's your family going to say? Mm-hmm. Is your family going to say this nigga died for a cause? Mm-hmm. Is he going to be like, yo, this nigga paid the rent for 12 months. Mm-hmm. He bought Nisi a car. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah, he he did things. What is she going to say? You oh, took some friend. pictures? Mm-hmm. Right. You going to die over pictures? No. Don't die over moves. pictures. That's <laughs> whack, my nigga. I want more yeah. for us, man. So imagine what Jesus I went Christ, what's wrong with these imagine kids? Imagine what I went through for... The homicide man can't get locked up for. This is a man speaking that was in a rapper's so, entourage. He was there before. So this is like, listen, this is like, everybody grind me up like, yo, why you do that for him, man? Right. What about you and your family? My mom mm-hmm. crying with Mom, I didn't do it for him, man. On the phone, I knocked a nigga out. He was trying to choke my man out. I put him, I put him down when I dragged him. I said, my wasn't for him. It was for, you know what I'm saying? But for point. me, you can't they play nobody that's around me. Period. After he left, they call my phone. Other niggas like, yo, I'm going to kill you when I see you, nigga. It's on site. They told me. He said, I'm gonna, when I see you, I'm going to kill you. It's on site. So everybody think whoever he hang around with is not tough. You know what I'm saying? Because he, you know what I'm saying? They're like, man, he, you know what I mean? Long story short, that's how I kick it to him, man. Like, nah, man. You know what I'm saying? After that, it was like, they call my phone. It's, I'm going to kill you. 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 I'm going to kill you a hundred times. So when you come through, what I got to do? I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold you to your word. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt is you mean what you say. So I'm going to knock your head off before you come. Before That's you get me, I'm going to knock your I got to believe you. I got shot by a <laughs> pussy nigga. I always tell niggas. So every time, I believe everybody. Every time a nigga, every time it was on with a nigga, <laughs> I, I got I to gotta go hunt him. You can't say it's on. I'm going to hunt uh-huh. you. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because you might see me taking my daughter to school. That's and, when you know, you might see me taking my yeah. son to school. You might be that yeah. tough. Nah, you're not, because I, I, I move my kids all the way out of the suburbs. But it's like, my mom, my sister, you might see my sister taking my nephew to school. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Get your open door. No, we're not doing that. You got to honor. Mm-hmm. We're not doing that. Not doing that, man. We got to come together, man, as black mm-hmm. people, man. Sophie Green has great legs, by the way. I just, <laughs> Thank you. I just know this. <laughs> Damn, Thank man. you. Great cat. <laughs> Sophie Green <laughs> works out. Sophie Green works out a lot. Just mm-hmm. know that. Make sure y'all go follow Sophie Green <laughs> mm-hmm. on Twitter. She gets busy. I Let sure do. Many camel toes, man. Many corns. <laughs> I, I see some too. I'm like, okay. Did you see? Did you like? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I, well, it'll be good because next week, um, I did um. Well, my new pictures will come out from my last shoot. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. That's great. I'm not. I'm not playing no games. Proud we, of your shoes. Yeah, we have a we have a good oh. meeting coming up with the sports company. So you know, That's things great. on the horizon. Mm-hmm. You know, being all natural. How do you smell right now. I smell like Bond Number Nine. I'm not gonna tell you which like specific one, but I smell like Bond Number okay. Nine. Okay. Yeah. What you this, know? Is, this is what y'all do on them podcasts, huh? <laughs> yeah, podcasts but lit. see, the difference is we don't get dinner brought to us. Y'all think y'all slip. <laughs> like you. <laughs> no, I say y'all think y'all slip because yeah, you we, can't slay. No, y'all, y'all invite the women, let them host, and put them in the magazine, give them a little light. That's y'all in. No, nah, that's Kate Slade. That's Slay. how y'all get in. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I ain't put no, 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 no magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you I got, got, a, got a degree in there. You get on tax season. No, I'm like, no. Nah. Like, I, I, I don't sell my dick. I, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just be trying to look out for shit. We be working. Yeah, you know. I'm working. Them little young bitches got a fuck Kate Slade. I'm going to give you a rudder. 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 I'm going to Big difference. I understand. I'm just saying, like, that's what, you know, I won't be doing that. Fuck you, mouth. You think them celebrities don't use their celebrity to get pussy? Of course. Of course. I, do that. I ain't doing that, though. 
I'm not. I don't do nothing. Yo, listen. I don't use nothing. I have bitches right now that are beautiful in my DMs talking about when can I get on taxis and I don't even answer them. I don't give a fuck that you exist. Seriously. No, he's not. What? No, he's not. Who? Who? I could guarantee you that. Oh, no, no. Absolutely not. We gotta end this shit, man. We went past four. We had fucking two hours. Right? Yo, tax season. We here with A.R. Ab, Sophie Green. What up? DJ Miss Milan, we in the fucking I, I building. Family. Shout out to my Philly niggas, OBH. Mm -hmm. I'm about to do a series on these niggas. We gonna Ooh. get all these dirty ass Philly niggas on camera, man. <laughs> we gonna bring them niggas to the world and let everybody see what's going on man. out there, man. I'm a dirty nigga too. I know I had this same sweatsuit on for fucking three weeks, nigga. Mm -hmm. I ain't take it off. I did a live show, put a new outfit on, put this shit right back on. I did it for the culture. Yeah, everybody have a nice week, man. I love y'all, man. man. Thank you Make for all sure the support. Be safe, though. This episode of Tax Season featuring Tax Stone is produced by Jonathan Mena, executive produced by Chris Morrow, and engineered by none other than Samir Karam.